<laughs> was, was condoms even around? <laughs> I don't even know, bro. I had to pay a lot of tax from about 2017 to 2019. Yeah, and all up it was 80 grand. Well, just because there's a pig doesn't have oh. a personality. I love pigs. I guess pigs have personalities, but. He loves pigs. It's my last resort <laughs> to the Jason. No. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my party tunes. Vacation, you do. <laughs> uh, my second to last tour. Uh, that's when I really started like realizing I anxiety because just before every show, I didn't want to go on stage. There's somewhere where a human ear was growing oh. on, uh, growing on a pig. When was the first time you had? Ever, wait, wait, can, wait. Is this like? Uh, is this like PG? And I can then again, you would get sick of eggs, but when you have good eggs, bro, you can never get sick of good eggs. JP's got a question. <laughs> I I I, didn't, I last like three seconds, bro. I'll be honest. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, bro. I like Come it. On, everybody, and welcome to the podcast. We don't know what it is yet, yeah. but you know what it is. Uh, let's go, dude. Wow. <laughs> let's go, I feel dudes. like I'm back in the nineties. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can just yeah. do like a little cheeky. It's gangster. Yeah. Like a little cheeky drop off. Like oh, that. yeah, that's me. Yeah. Um, how do we? That's, I need that's <laughs> <laughs> this is what I need to fix first. <laughs> you gotta stay here, bro. We pay all this money for you not to stay there, bro. Hey. What if we switch? Would you go there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Go there. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh there we man. go. Hold on. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh Hang on, bro. J- JP, that was terrible uh, putting together of a podcast. Oh, yeah. Was that, is that JP who set that up? No, nah, that was me. <laughs> oh, okay, well, this one isn't even tight, and there you go. So, mine should be sorted perfectly. There we go. See? There we go. Mine's perfect. I'm perfect. How's it going, guys? Welcome to the Boys Podcast. That's the. That's the. Oh, wait, you can't even see my face, though. Yeah, I'll lower it. Yep. So, what I'll do is I'll do like a. Why don't you lower it? And why don't you move oh, over that way a little bit? Look at that. You like that. Ooh, that's Goetia's. Yeah, okay, I can move over that way a little bit. Me? So there's a bit more space in between. Who, me? Like this, this. I feel like this is all in the way of you. This stuff. This? Yeah, this I feel thing? Like this, is, this part's blocking you. So if you move oh, over okay, that way. Oh, okay, you want me to move over yeah, closer yeah. to JP? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then I'll give him a little turny. Kia ora, kia ora, kia ora. Kia ora, kia ora. Hey, how's that? How's that, bro? What's up? Yeah, I can't good. really see you, bro, but it's all right. <laughs> yeah, we can, <laughs> I can see you through. I can't see you. That's all right, Chair, chair. So, um. Fuck, made it. This we made, made like it. three months in the making, eh? The podcast. Yeah, bro, hard out. Four months, yeah. yeah, so we bought all this equipment, yeah, yeah four months ago, <laughs> mean, meaning to do it like ASAP. Yeah. And yeah, it didn't happen. But, but now it's here. happening. Now it's here. Now right? it's happening, baby. Woo! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah. I've been wanting to do what this even for is ages. it going to be? Is That's the big we're question, not, eh? So yeah, oh, we're still thinking of a name, eh? Sorry, I'll or try even, not to talk about Anything. Over you know how there's like all sorts of random podcasts out there? It's like a talky one. Are we going to do skits and stuff? Are we. Yeah, well, kind of. Yeah, yeah, well. So I know we definitely want to get guests on. Yep. Every um, try mainly every episode. Yeah. Um. So this is the first one where it's just going to be quite raw, mm. um, unplanned, mm. and we're just telling you about it, telling you about it, telling you about it. Hey. Yeah. So they've got little. Oh um, yeah, we're trying to. Yeah. See, we got shit like that. You like that? Yeah. Oh, gangster. Hey, bad, bro. No one does content like that. Look at that. Oh, oh, you want to get scared, eh? No, nah, that's dumb. I should look at the you, camera, yeah. not the yeah, screen. Say, yeah. <laughs> nah, it's all good. It's, it's all good. It's good. I'll just look at the camera. Yeah, I'm still learning. Hey, still learning this potty hottie. Yeah. How you going, JP? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Good. What's so, your yeah, to? Kia ora, JP. Kia ora, J- this is JP. This. this is JP. You might have seen him on social medias. Yep. yep. Doing funny videos. Doing Hard, hilarious. Um, yep. Yep. This is Billy T's son, by the way. Yep. Hey, Billy T. James' son, right there. Go. Oh. Just to, can you do a Billy T. James skit? Quick, 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 quickly. Uh, do Billy T. James. Uh, Jilly T. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I just remember how he was trying no, to. I put the mic up here so we can. Just remembering how he uh, used to sell, trying to sell cars in it and yep, trying yep, to sell yep. a house. Give us one of those. Oh, I don't remember the lines. And <laughs> but but no, nah, yeah, he's a bit of a legend, that fellow. Like, uh, not really. Could you crash, crash Zoom on JP while he's talking? 
Your dad's yeah, so proud. Not really, mate. Not really, my dad. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shot on the camera though. That yeah. looks nice, eh? Shot, Shan. Yeah, the camera man, looks that good looks as. Nice, bro. In the right. Christmas tree in the background. That's yeah. the most budget the we've ever spent for yeah. our videos. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, sick. Yeah. So Christmas, eh? Yeah, bro. Christmas time. I'll do it all. Yeah. Cheers. So, um, what's everyone wanting from Christmas for from Santa? <sighs> Huh? I but know. I gave you like all I I got. Was this whole thing veggies? I thought there was like fucking. Did shit. you give the chicken to me? Or was there oh. chicken in it? Oh, bacon, eh? What are we? But yeah, so from Santa, really, all I want is Pokemon stuff. They're actually in Jimmy's house at the moment. Yeah, kia ora. We drove down from Auckland. On my so. Christmas tree over here. I, I, I did all that. Fuck, that looks lit. <laughs> they look lit, baby. Yeah, they look lit. It does yeah. look good. They are, yeah, it looks better oh. when you don't. Oh. Focus on it, Chaz, because the light, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, baby. So, um, I actually love Christmas, eh? Bro, have you got... Oh, it's okay. my favourite time of the year. We got a real Christmas tree in our house at the moment. A friend came around and gave it to us. But the oh, smell yeah. is just, it's on the next, the it's at the next so level. Good, eh? It's the next level. Every, that, every time I come home, I was like... <laughs> is that that evergreen, just eh? It's just pine that tree. piney smell, eh? Oh, yeah, pine tree, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at me, eh, trying to be all fancy, knowing trees and shit. <laughs> but yeah, we had a real tree too. Fuck, crack up story. The first ever real Christmas tree we got. So when I um like put it in its base, I thought it put I didn't put it in deep enough for it to reach the water, so it died oh. <laughs> before Christmas even oh, came. No. Though it was brown, eh? Oh no, <laughs> Did you get in trouble. So, we were in charge of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lana wasn't very happy. Mm. And then what was even worse, like we had to get the rid Jim, of it. Did Jimmy afterwards. ruin the first Christmas tree, Lana? Oh, sad. Mm. Was it upsetting? Yeah. No. What happened, bro? Yeah. Did you have kids at the time or was it? No. Yeah, Kyra was a baby. Oh. Kyra was a baby, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was a baby. So yeah, that happened. And um, yeah, we haven't had a real Christmas tree since. When did you find out that Santa wasn't real? We, um, what happened? And did it I affect I, you? Honestly, did it yeah, affect you? I think I was a Hold bit... On. No, not that <laughs> Yeah, when did you find out that Santa wasn't real? Bro, um, I was, I'm pretty sure I was like seven or eight years old, eh? Yeah. Oh, sorry, remember. disclaimer for anyone that still believes that oh, Santa's yeah, real. Yeah, hard. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, kids. Well, no. He sort of takes the credit from the parents who actually buy presents for their kids or something, you know? Yeah. So I, I don't really. Oh, you don't think that? Well, I just. Tell my kid, you know, that my son that I bought it for him, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I <laughs> I was like in a, we were at uh, mum mum and dad's, well, we were at Nan's. And then I, I, I remember, you know, it was so hard sleeping that first night of Christmas. Like the yeah. night before Christmas is so hard. It seems like it takes like ages, eh, that hard. first night. So I'm like waiting for ages. And then I was like, nah, stuff it. I'm going to have a look. And then I creeped out and I had a look at, at the Christmas tree to see if Santa was there. And then my mum was dressed up as an elf. And then I was like looking through the window. And then it was my mum under there preparing the Christmas Whoa. trees with that all in, all in Santa gears. Like mum was like dressed like an elf. <laughs> and then I can't remember someone else was there packing the presents. So I was like, Mum's Santa. <laughs> Santa's not real. <laughs> <laughs> it was honestly the most disturbing thing ever to realise that he's not real and that was mum doing the Santa stuff. So I yeah. think I think when I found out, my sister actually told me because hey, she saw my mum putting the presents under the tree. But I remember my mum still trying to convince me <laughs> oh, when, 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 old. <laughs> when I knew it wasn't real. Yeah. And she actually got me one time, mate. I remember, like, it was the night before Christmas, and she was like, did you know, she was like, if you if you stay up late and listen for Santa's sleigh bells, yeah. and you'll actually hear them. And Slain. then, and the way she told me this, hey, I, like, really got hooked on it, eh, and I was mm. so convinced. and Because she was like, I, I, I experienced this as a kid. Like, I stayed up really late, and I heard Santa's sleigh bells. Mm. And I was like, holy shit, fuck, Santa's actually real, wee. And yeah, I never heard sleep. I was a fucking bitch. <laughs> what about? <laughs> there was this girl in school when we did um, show and tell at school, and people would get up and they'd say stuff. And I remember, <laughs> I remember this. I remember this one chick. She was like at school, maybe like seven or eight. And this one girl was like, and that's when I decided that some of those things, most of those things, weren't real. And this girl yeah. was like, "Okay, everybody." So um, last night I saw the tooth fairy. She flew into the room and she put the tooth under my um, <laughs> under my pillow. 
And then me and one of my mates, I can't remember who it was, we like gave her the old side eyes. They eh? like, this bitch, bro, <laughs> what a liar. <laughs> yeah, no. She's a liar. Steve Fury, how I found out it wasn't real. <laughs> my mum gave me the money, like I lost my tooth once, and I woke up and underneath my pillow was like a like a matchbox. Oh, they have egg in here. Yeah. yeah. Like a matchbox, you know, for matches. Yep. And the money was in there. <laughs> Mm. And I was like, what the fuck would it be in a matchbox? <laughs> and my mum smoked, you know? So I was like, hey. I was like, because, and I was like, this is my mum. So I was like, instantly <laughs> clicked. Me. I was like, bro, puts it yeah. in a matchbox, bro. Terrible. What about yeah, you, JP? Tooth first, Fury. Yeah, first time you. Oh, no, I've never had a Tooth Fury ever. <laughs> never had a Tooth Fury. Wow. No, true. Never had two <laughs> <people. Just got laughs> Have you ever had an Easter bunny or Santa? Or oh. When did you? Oh, no, I had some Easter eggs though. Yep. Yeah. Um, no, I don't know. He's probably can't. I can't remember when I was a kid. Probably seen an Easter bunny dressed up. Yeah. No, no, not the real East. Have you seen a real Easter bunny though? No. You haven't seen a real one? Never. Hey. Wow. <laughs> I ratchet. I seen it. I seen it a couple times. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I seen one taking the shit once. True. Then I went in over and it was jelly beans. <laughs> so I had a munch. I <laughs> said, so I'm not even lying yet. That's true. This guy hasn't raisins. seen. Raisins. He hasn't seen. Nah, not raisins. <sighs> I don't know what animal shit's raisins. You need to, just on Easter, you got to wake up early as in the morning. And it's best if you're on a farm. Because heaps of rabbits are on farms. Rabbits are. Mm. Bloody pop, yeah. pop, pop. pop. Yeah, them. and then when it flies down in the spaceship and shit. Yeah, bro. Rabbit stew. So how do you get started? And um, because people mostly just see your stuff that you put out online. What kind of got you into it? Me. Hmm. Um. Um. Like what? Mate, what like why you, I started? Yeah, or yeah? Like why? How did you? How did you even? Um. So how I started is like it was Vine, you know, you remember Vine? Good old Viney, fuck, this the G. And um, yeah, I was just liking Vines, watching them and shit. And so I made a couple Vines, um, but on Facebook, you know, I made the Vine and then it was saved as to my camera roll and I put it on Facebook because no one was on Vine in New Zealand, you know? Mm -hmm. And... um. Yeah, my first ever Vine did really well. Eh? It was um, wow, it was a classic, man. It was like um, it was like mates be like or something, and the video was like um, like a, a guy getting stepped out by like this big ass dude, and then his mates like um, bro, don't fight him, G, don't fight him, you'll get smashed, <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, no, nah, I won't, G, I won't. He's like, and he walks off. Then his mate's like, bro, you fucking sacked it. <laughs> and he's like, and that's literally all. Like, it's like five, six seconds. And that took off, eh? Yeah. Yeah, had like 100 friends on Facebook. <coughs> I got like 500 likes. And so I was famous as off the bat. Nah, because I only got like 10 likes anyway, so I was buzzing out. Um, and then um, I made a couple more the next day, I think. Like, one was a prank, and then one was another skit type. And they did well as well. And so, like, three days after my first video, I made a page. And then, yeah, it just took off from there just because I had so many ideas. Like, 20,000 likes within the first week, I think, which was crazy as. Um, so, I just kept doing that for ages while I was working. Yep. Amazing. I think YouTube, yeah, nothing really took off. Yeah, like, I loved it so much at the start. And I think it was when I first started... Um, when I got my first camera and I started making longer videos, the, the one minute videos, that's when I started getting into what hard LD. Well, but, um, huh? were, you, were you working while you were, um, like, did you have a normal job or? Yeah, 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 yeah. So were, um, I was a timber machinist for like two years. So I started in 2013 at the end, September the 23rd. Yep. Was the day I made my page actually. But, um, and you know, I worked for. In 2015 is when I stopped working, when we went on tour. Mm. And I quit. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. I think we, I went on tour at like 300,000 likes or something. Well, I remember when we first we first jammed and we like made that first video. I remember just filming the outside your house of the promo video. 
Remember when it got like so oh, much, yeah, like, oh, I'm yeah. going to go on tour, where should I come visit? Yeah, and it had like yeah. 20,000 <sighs> likes or Bro, comments that was, or something. The comments was crazy. Yeah. But like the, the biggest, the most, because I was like, comment your city or where you want me to come yeah, to yeah. in the comments. Oh, that's right. And the most liked ones were the ones that bought the least tickets. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious, bro. So this Mark. is a this was a whole plan, so we could um to figure out where we would go on tour. Yeah. So we're like, yo, put in the comments where you want us to come, you know. And the most liked comments would obviously, you know, the most people wanted us to go there. And then yeah, it was a complete. I remember when it event was still a mean fucking. Yeah. Tour. I remember when Event Finder, the ticketing agency we used. <sighs> They called me and I'm like, who the who the hell is this Jimmy Jackson guy? It's like broken our website. This is like a a, a website a website that does ticketing for like international groups and stuff. And when we put that post that one post out, yeah, it like crashed their website. Yeah, hard. I mean, I think that was the most. I think still to the date that was the best tour ever. So good, like yeah. it's just for like how crazy it was. Yeah, how many shows we did, and just sold first so time well. on the road, sold first so well. yeah. something shows eh? Yeah. yeah, fuck! I think it was fifty all up. Oh yeah, yeah, forty nine, fifty all up. But cool, because we're basically Oz. like, you were like, sweet, I'll quit my job. Cool, let's go on the yeah, road hard. and do it. And it's basically ah. you just made it happen, and you're going, you've been going ever since, eh? Hey? Right, just yeah, hard. Especially, and now you've got a big ass tax bill. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crack wow. up. That's crack up. Pay your tax, homies. Pay your tax. <laughs> Pay your tax. Hard out, hard out. <laughs> so, um, short story or short story. Yeah, so I'm planning on getting a house, buying a house, and to do that, I had to pay a lot of tax from about 2017 to 2019. Yeah, and all up it was 80 grand. Wow. So I paid 40 grand uh, on Monday, and uh, I got to pay another 40 grand on in January the 15th. Yeah, which I, I do have the money. Yeah, which is mean, but I did. I don't want to pay it. Which is not mean. <laughs> but it's all right. Got to do it if I want to do things legally. Yeah. Unfortunately, now that I'm a dad and stuff, we have to do things that way. Mm. How, how's the transition been? Transition? Like, transition when you were like, going handy out there and then like became a dad. You know, <laughs> is, what's the kind of difference between those worlds of like... Oh, bro. The best transition. Like... um. Quite buzzy, quite buzzy. Like I had to, like there's a lot of things because cause I, I can't just think of myself anymore, you know, so mm. I have to, so yeah, that's where I had to kind of tone it down a bit, think of the monetization and stuff, you know. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, nah, it's only made me a better person. It's only made me more successful just because I got something to work for, you know, something yeah. that drives me. So yeah, bro. And yeah, I love my kids. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I love them more than mm. anything. So yeah. It's a it's a it's a win win. Mm. It's a win win for me. Yeah, bro. Hard out. Give your kids the best day. Yeah, bro. Kids Give are gangster. I'm so stoked as well. I'm so blessed as well to be able to have the job I have. Be able to like walk them to daycare every day, yeah. pick them up. They're gonna be home fucking soon. You know, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm so up. blessed to have them. Yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah, it's me, Naz. It's me, Naz. I think it will get a lot. Uh, like it's, the days are only going to get better The days to come mm. Are only going to get better Especially um, Like when Even when my son's older Or my daughter's older I can see me doing like Like f um family vlogs in the future Like mm. a lot of that stuff or yeah. Maybe Like the, who are those Aussies that go hard Um, What are they called the Is it a family Yeah it's family like a family is like six of them Oh my gosh Oh on. Aussie guys Oh there's probably heaps of them Oh shit oh, What a dumb setup for that Um Ah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll be doing heaps of that, I reckon, in the future. Yeah, some cool ass shit. I don't know where yeah. I go, but I know it's gonna be gangster. So yeah, hard. What about you, JP? How's that sandwich? Oh, beautiful. Okay, talk it? to us about it. Oh. Beautiful, oh, her heart. What you got? So the salad was. What's, right, what's all up in that sandwich? Really light, bro, Step, uh, speaking to the mic. Once I smash this back, I'll feel like not bloated. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Like uh, like every time you eat food and then mm, you feel good nice after, yeah. it's good for you. Like not so true. Good food good. that's good for you. Yeah, eh? You take a bite. There you we feel go. Healthy. Get a close up on that bite. Oh yeah. You feel healthy, not not unhealthy. Yep, here we go. Oh, yeah. oh he spilled it. Oh, it spilled. it's so good. It exploded. It exploded. 
Don't worry, G. I got a dog. He'll come eat that. You nah, I don't. Nah, I don't have a dog. How is Louis? Uh, he's good, bro. Louis he's the dog? good. Yeah, uh, mum's dog. Eh? Yeah, my mum's dog. Yeah, my mum lives on the farm in Kaiwaka. I think it is. Yeah, mm. yeah, past Walkworth. Yeah, so um, yeah, he's good. Old as now. I think he's an old dog. He's an old dog. Why? Why is it? Why do you reckon dogs are not like? Pigs or goats or you know, like why do we love gods? Gods, dogs so much. Um, like I, love, yeah. I love a good dog, but like I'm like in my head I'm like, why don't I love a pig? Well, just because a pig doesn't have oh. a personality. I love pigs. I guess pigs have personalities, but he loves pigs. Yeah, I like bacon. <laughs> so good. I like bacon, bro. <laughs> so streaky good. bacon, bro. Is, oh no, yeah, it's bro. another yeah, level mate. of bacon. Yeah, it's got to be hard mm. to be a vegetarian if you. Yeah, yeah. fuck. How can but pigs wait, are really smart can, though. Pigs. Uh, wait, almost, uh, do aren't vegetarians pigs? eat eggs? Oh, pigs are pretty not much the same. I think maybe vegetarians, but not vegans. Oh yeah, but I don't know. Bro, I same. could be vegetarian if they could eat eggs. Yep, because I love eggs. Yeah. And I can Then again You would get sick of eggs But when you have good eggs bro, You can never get sick of good eggs JP's got a question Oh you got a question no, it's just Yes JP Pigs are uh, actually Similar to humans Pigs So like We're pretty much Eating a human If you're Eating a pig You know what I mean They eat the same Sort of shit Car- Carry on it. Carry on with the story no, you're not. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, where did you hear this? Go on, develop, develop, this, develop this tape, JP. Where did this information <laughs> come from? Let's develop this. Heard it from these hunters. Yep. They're telling me about pigs that they're, they're pretty much close to humans. If you Google it. I'm, I'm, I'm Googling pigs and humans right now. Yeah, is that is that a true Similarities fact, between bro? pigs and humans. I know monkeys. You're a pig, it says. It might be a common insult, but interestingly, there are a number of similarities between humans and pigs. These include anatomic and physio- physiologic traits, such as organ placement. Yeah, blah, oh, is blah, that blah, why blah. you can have like pig hearts and shit? Yeah, it must be. And why? Oh, I've yeah. And they graft. That. They cr- what's it called? The graft. Like take a bit of pig skin, and they can grow a human ear and stuff like that. Have you seen that? There's somewhere where a human ear was growing oh. on, uh, growing on a pig. What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, human ear. Uh. They grew a human ear on a pig. Uh, human that's ear fucked up. On pig. That's fucked up. <laughs> yes, look at that. Human ear. You guys can Google it. They they can because our genes are so similar. They're able to. Is that a mice? Yeah. Oh, that's a mouse. Yeah. Not a, <laughs> <laughs> not, not a pig. There would have been a massive ear. That's though, a right? fucking huge ear. That's a huge mice. <laughs> imagine if that was. What the fuck? Imagine if that was like Bruh. on a pig. How big that human would be. Bruh. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Can that hear? Can he hear <laughs> shit through that ear? I don't know. <laughs> Imagine that, eh? That's where we need a scientist can, on like, the podcast really to well, ask him if he's like, a human ear can, so if you can loud, hear bro. through a human ear that's grown on a pig or a, ma- a, a ma- rat. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. That's buzzy ears. Do you reckon we could grow a pig's tail? No. Well, there are humans that grow tails. Did you know that? Why do we have a tail bone? No, they're the actual humans that have grown tails. Hey, yeah, I got that. I'll get that one for you too. Shadow, how? Human tail. Wait, wait, wait! But do we? We have a tail bone, right? Yeah. So that was, must mean we used to have tails. Now this is a big question, mm. because have we like evolved into these? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, oh yeah, that's the one. Yeah. yeah. So have we evolved into these creatures we are right now? Let's do it again. Or are we Ooh. actually just these? Uh, oh. is that good? I don't know. I don't know if it makes sense, but I just want to get. <laughs> so you have a ten. You have a ten or something. Uh, okay. okay. okay about, about whether we're like actually these humans or whether we're like something else. Okay. Or something about uh, okay. evolution. Go okay, ready? Go okay, here JP. we go. go no, it's you. It's you. Um, <laughs> it's you. Okay, JP, go. Ready? Are we, just go. Are we a th- something something? Are or we, do it. Here we go. I'll go. <laughs> are we actually evolved from cavemen? From monkey ape stage? Or? Or are we just humans? <laughs> <laughs> born, from, born from an atom. Um, oh, okay. Oh, oh. Okay, Jimmy's um, turn. Jimmy's turn. Ready? Okay. Wait, wait. Crash him, crash him. Uh, oh, um. Oh, okay, okay, wait, wait, yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> I was trying to think it's like, Nah okay I don't have anything either. Yeah So yeah, it's sorry. a huge question though It's, it's like, so massive That I was stumbled On the thought of it Yeah Yeah mm. Yeah I had this thought this morning I was like woke up this morning And I was like Fuck In 20 years I'm gonna be 67 Yeah What do you oh. What about though like, What about <laughs> though Like What Wait 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 What about What about What about this Oh, it's good. By the way, the cameraman doesn't know what's happening. It's going. Oh, yeah, it's going. Do, 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 so he knows what's happening. So just yeah, imagine. Go again. Go again. What about this? What are we? So, you know. Are we living. Living. Right now. Or are we actually. Like. Like in a dream. Are we actually living or are we in a dream? Okay. No, nah, that was terrible. Were you uh, actually trying to go somewhere or were you just. I was trying to go somewhere. I just yeah. couldn't say it properly. Yeah, yeah. It was really hard to know, eh? Really, what we are and where we're going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think do you get, do you, get those you know, like, like, do yeah. you think, like, you know, maybe we're actually already dead, and this is like, this is my afterlife. Could be. Yeah, that's just yeah, no, no, Could no. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. I feel I don't, like I, I feel back, like I don't back that. Yep. I feel like say if like everything that was in existence was a big like field of energy moving around. <laughs> And then it sends that energy out to like all like this universal conscious thing that that is everything, and then it like keeps keeps going out to like the fine, tiny little like fingertips, and then we get to be one of those little fingertips that experiences a piece of it, mm. and then and then so when you die, it just goes back into the big body of self aware consciousness. Oh, that's that's a bit too oh. buzzy. Yeah, that is. For me to understand. Well, I, yeah, I don't even know really. Yeah. Did you know? I got a cool fact though. Did yeah. you know? Do you know what a birthmark is meant to mean? I did not. It's know meant what. to mean of how you died in your previous life. I'm not, I'm not You're sold. Not sold. Not sold. Not sold on that. No. <laughs> no. It's uh, where, what, that. where you died. Yeah. It's no, like how, how you, you died. It's how you died. Yeah. Like what? Like the shape. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, some people got big ass ones. Maybe oh, they on, got okay. burnt. What, you know, let's Google like, it. what is the birthmark actually? Yeah, mean? don't Google it. <laughs> <laughs> don't Google it. <laughs> you don't need to Google it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. What does a birthmark mean? Birthmark is a congenital begin. Be, what's that word? Yeah, let me read it. Let me read it. A birthmark is a <laughs> see con see? Gen, <laughs> con, uh, con Genital It's not congenital Why <laughs> is it? Benning Which That's the benning <laughs> <laughs> That's the word that I was <laughs> Trying to figure out ben, um, Benign I don't know Benign It could be benign Irregular On the skin <laughs> Which means <laughs> Or shows How they died In their previous life <laughs> oh. I told you ah, Shut up Told you I can't read Why'd you give me the <laughs> <laughs> we just call this the dumb podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the dumb guys podcast. The dumb guys podcast. <laughs> 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 yes, this the is dummies. The, <laughs> the dummies. The dummies potty. Uh, JP, when's the, when's, the, when's the best time? When's, when's the time you felt <laughs> the dumbest in your whole life? Right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think it was um, during that live stream. Yeah. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> the end? Which. Towards the end of the live stream, yeah. For, um, Lewathon. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. You look dumb. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, bro, that was a twelve-hour live stream, man. Yeah, the twelve-hour live. Well, stream. twenty-four hours. No, nah, it was twelve. It was twelve. Well, we actually bet twelve because we got a million comments within yep. the twelve hours. Um, what about, bro? What about our worst show ever in Fungaree? <sighs> Remember the first oh. one of like this. <laughs> <laughs> That was so terrible. JP opened for Jimmy one year. Oh. JP opened for Jimmy oh. one year. 
and he did like a stand up show. JP over there did the stand up show for Jimmy. First, first time. First time yeah. Can tell us some of the jokes. Do some of the jokes. Do some of the jokes. When you were like, what's some of the worst times JP's been doing? And it was like, fuck, it made me thought of that. Oh, basically, no laughs. We both caked it. Full crowd. We both caked it. Full crowd to come see Jimmy, and then. But yeah, let's start from JP. Oh my gosh, bro! And we thought these jokes were bangers, though. Hey, yeah, what's this? come on, <laughs> what was, come on, JP. What were some of the jokes, um, bro? I, one of my favorite one, yeah. my favorite one, bro. <laughs> when it was like, oh, gee, it was so long. <laughs> okay, come on. When he was like, um, what's up with the sky tower? <laughs> oh, no. it's like it's not even in the sky. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> yes. And then, bro. <laughs> The crowd was just silent. Oh, as they oh. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> laughed. Yeah. Oh, what about, didn't you do a cows one or something? Cows, yeah, cows or cows cheese? Or alien dicks. That's yeah. right. That's oh, what I gosh. wanted. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that what, yeah. Is that when you see what's up with goat's cheese? You're like, why isn't it cow's cheese? Or, yeah, that something it? like that. Oh, oh how'd you, yeah. I just remember the potato top pie song and yeah. and yeah all sorts of oh stuff. yeah 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 so yeah. much skits on there right? yeah was yeah was that the um the uh, song uh was that what what song did you end up doing oh. um uh, i've got i'm horny Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah yeah! I'm honey, honey, honey. That honey, was a banger. Yeah. See, that was so a banger. Honey. After like three, four shows, we figured yeah. that. Yeah, nailed yeah. it, nailed yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So after JP caked it, I came on, nervous as fuck. <laughs> like, and bro, my show wasn't ready. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> and um, I came on, and I was killing it at the start, eh? But I, I did. I burned through all my material <laughs> yeah. in like twenty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it was crack up. Like I was, I came to like the end of my show way, and Jermaine's just like, I like turned to Jermaine. He's like, "Bro, it's like being like twenty minutes." <laughs> and I was like, I just freaked the fuck out, eh? And I did not know what to do, eh? And I looked at the crowd, eh? And I just went up to this first dude, and I was like, "Would you rather?" <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrible show. Terrible show. Now, I remember the very first shows. Terrible like you'd had that like two hours or whatever hour and a half pre written content. And like you're like you just had your stories like um, me mates or so, like yeah, like, yeah, all, yeah all of these yeah, stories. Yeah, yeah. I remember Types watching the first show and, and there was like uh, maybe like about fifteen minutes where the whole crowd hadn't laughed yet, and I was like, oh my Fuck. gosh, yeah, just from, from those stories. But then and then it was the next day we after because uh, basically those first shows you you were like up there going hard and it was just like we were getting. S- very little laughs because your stories were just all in your head and it was quite hard to kind of get it all out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it was like at the end of the show where you were um, just talking to people and they were like, so you'd done your show and it was kind of, yeah, yeah, whatever. And then then when you started talking to people, everyone was just like in fits of laughter and you were just like, hey, yeah, you mother, you know, and just you were just like right in their face. And then then there was the light bulb moment of like, bro, you've just got to actually just freestyle with people. And then then the next day we just sort of chatted about that and then, Crowd interaction so was the key. Like, yeah, you're just way better at freestyling, or at that time. Yeah. Well, that was it. That was my, what I was best at. Yeah. Crowd interaction. So that's yeah. when we figured out the show, like, <laughs> and Fungaday, well, that's on the first tour. The first Fungaday, Fungaday show, that was our third one mm. after fucking, I can't remember what town it was. Um, um, and that was a banger. We did yeah. two back to back ones, um, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's when we first came up with our crowd interaction stuff the Would You Rather, the dance battle, yeah, yeah. all that. And that just stuff popped off, mm-hmm. man. That mm-hmm. was crazy. So that was an amazing time. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, I had this massive as confidence. Went to Auckland, sold out that whole, what was massive it, like 600 30. or something? No, that was over a thousand. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just what? Way too cocky, eh? Yeah. And just still a good show, but good just show, not but the best. You finished in like forty-five minutes. Yeah, well, like, there you go. Yeah, finished <laughs> like a ninety-minute show in forty-five minutes. Like, thank you guys. See you later. And I was at the side going, Yeah, keep going, keep going. I was like, fucking, just yeah, 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 yeah. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was a cool, cool tour. That was a cool <laughs> tour. Cool tour. Fuck yeah, some massive banger shows though. Mm. Banger shows. Remember that one in um, Perth, was it? Another sold out one? Yeah, yeah. Aussie ones were mean. Yeah, eh? Aussie ones, oh, Aussie ones were cool. Aussie, Aussie ones were crazy, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah no, so fun. yeah, that tour was lit. Let's talk shit. Yeah, let's talk shit. The first Please. biggie. Uh, I remember that poster. I remember your little poster. Yeah, yeah, like black. All those and dates. Yep, all those dates on the side. Yeah. And then what was the next one called, eh? 
Keeping it real. Uh, keeping it real. Keeping it real. Yeah, keeping it real. We were sitting on the egg chair. And then you actually thing. had some like, um, tell, tell us about the kind of, you had some ones after that and it was like quite hard because you sort of were going on your own then, eh? And you kind of went yeah. through some like, because we've all had that, hit that wall, you know, in careers where it's like, whoa, anxiety, yeah, weird stuff. That's when ex- I got mad anxiety, eh? So what when I started touring by myself with just Phil, um, I think it, uh, no, nah, no, nah, I didn't think it, yeah, it's definitely started there. I was trying to think if I had any of it when I was with you boys, but nah, I don't think I did. So it was by myself and just, um, really, you know, not having everyone, anyone to talk to my show with, you know, about mm. that. So just, just me only thinking, which was good enough, but only just me thinking that like I knew my show and thinking it was good without having performed it anywhere. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and every show ended up being a banger, like me and as, like as always, I knew the crowd interaction was bangers, so that was always the best parts. Um, but I think just just doing it alone, eh, like every time before the show, like I think it was like, not straight away off the bat, but like after, like it started halfway or near the end, and then when it came to like uh, my second to last tour, uh, that's when I really started like realizing I had anxiety because yeah. just before every show, I didn't want to go on stage just because I don't I don't know why yeah I was like I was just scared of my show not doing well, mm. but it always did well. Once I was on stage, I was sweet, but yeah, as soon as I get off stage, I'd just be feeling like shit till the next show straight away again. Mm. So I didn't enjoy being on tour, like you know, like you know the days building up to the the show it was just dumb man i just had anxiety like feeling it here like around my heart and just like all day every day and like i just never enjoyed anything and i always tell lana that i just wanted to cancel the show and come home but then i'll just fucking um you know tough through it and do the show and then i count them down you know when i'd go home um but yeah the last tour i cancelled my um the last ever tour, well, what was it called? I think it was called Mama. No, it wasn't called Mama. We made it. It was called Adulthood. Yeah, Adulthood. That was the last show. So I had a, most most I'd ever been prepared as well, but um, it was a massive tour. Right? It was like two months. I think it was like fifty shows or something. So I was nearly doing a show every day, but I was doing it by myself. Eh? And like fuck, that's what got to me. So I flew all the way to Sydney and then um, what is it, Darwin? And then Darwin, where the first show was going to be. And um, once I landed in Darwin, I'd like from flying all the way from leaving my house, you know, to the airport, then like flying to Sydney. The whole time I was thinking how I would cancel the tour, like you know, straight off the bat, as soon as because I just didn't want to do it. Eh? Mm. But I was pushing myself. I was just like, nah, you always feel like this, and I was pushing it. But I'd never felt like this before, right? Eh? Now I think I had a panic panic attack on the plane. Where I just like my my brain was just fretting out, man. Like I was trying to think, I was trying to go through my show, but as I was trying to like read my show, all I was thinking is like fuck of ways to cancel it. Mm. So it was really weird, and I was like just freaking out and like sweating hard out. And Phil next to me, the tour manager, um, he was just asleep, so he didn't really see it. Um, and then yeah, once we got to Darwin, that's when I fully like I I. Yeah, made the decision in my head that because I wasn't thinking of the money. This eh? is the first date, eh? The first date. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I was like ten hours away from doing a show. Yeah, yeah. So right, we got right. into Darwin at like fucking six, eight in the morning or something, and I was already like fucking. You know, as soon as we landed, I, I'd like, I was like, nah, I'm flying back right now. Eh? I was, mm-hmm. I'm gonna book a flight and fly back home. Um, didn't think of the money. I just didn't want to do it. Just wanted to come home, and then I told um. Phil, I was like, oh, I've got some shit to sort back home, eh? I was like, I need to go back and sort it. And he was buzzy ass because I didn't want to tell him, like, the mm. whole story. Yeah. Like, I did. I wanted to cancel the tour. And then he was like, oh, shit. He was like, oh, we could probably cancel the show. And then, but we'll just have to um, fly back to Sydney and just get ready for the next one. He's like, would you be able to make it to that? And I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah telling him. And then um, I ended up having to stay in Darwin that night and fly home the next morning. And then in the hotel, I told Phil, you know, ended up telling Phil that I wanted to cancel the tour and shit. And he was like, oh, shit, just, like, go home and think about it and stuff. 
And um, he thought I was going to come home and just like talk Was this to in Lana. Darwin? You were still in Darwin? Yeah, yeah. in the hotel. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is nighttime now in Darwin. You'd cancelled that show? Yeah, cancelled yeah. that show. And like, I'm telling, because uh, I couldn't even sleep, bro. Like, I was just staying up. And man, my mom, my mom was so fucked, eh? And I was telling Lana that I wanted to cancel and shit. She was buzzing out. She was like, nah, no way. She was like, what are you on about? Just stay there. And then, but I had already made up the decision in my head. And so I told Phil as well, he was like, oh, I think I'd, I want to cancel the tour. And he was buzzing out. And he was like, nah, just go home and think about it and talk to Lana and shit. And then um, I came home and shit. As soon as I came home, I felt so much better. I was like, fuck, I'm not leaving home, mate. I was like, that's it. And, and then, no? and then um, yeah, I told Lana, because I didn't know I, I, I had anxiety. Like, uh, I was just buzzing, uh, you know. And I told Lana about it. And she was like, oh, I think you've got anxiety. Because she yeah. didn't understand it first. Yeah, did then. you know it was that then? or Nah, nah. Lana's the one who made me realise I had it. Because she didn't want me to cancel it. She was like, nah, you're like staying and you're going to go back tomorrow. And I, I told her, like, I was like, because I wouldn't just cancel it. I was like, nah, really, I, I don't want to do it, eh? And then um, she was like, oh, I think you got anxiety. Because then she told me, she was like, because I never wanted to go out to, like, the mall even with her. Because I just didn't want to be seen or, you know, yep. it's going to be fucked, eh? <coughs> so she, she would bring that up and she was like, you never want to come to the mall with me. You always try to avoid the mall and shit. And I was like, oh, fuck, true, that I do. But then, yeah, I've been in the mall with you and it's... Like you can't go anywhere. You yeah, get smashed yeah. by everyone. Like we, when we were out at the car park, yeah, and everyone in the car park, all ages, all yelling at yeah. you. So it's like it's not like you can go anywhere. Yeah, you can't. You can't. You can't. Like, uh, like I, I fight it every day, you know, because because of my kids, though, you know. Um, but you know, I'll still get asked for photos and shit all the time, and so you, you can't really go anywhere. It's just how it is, eh? Um, so yeah, I think that's what bring it on as well. Like, um, that, so yeah, I just really, so yeah, I cancelled the tour right then and there, right? Eh? I ended up having to pay back 30 grand, like for the flights and shit, cause mm. everything we booked and stuff. Yeah. Which, you know, was gay, you know, but it was all right. Did that, cause I just didn't want to go that's, on tour, bro. Yeah. So that was like a breeze for me. Yeah. Like problem. I was going to make a hundred K plus A, but like, that's why even Phil was like, so me, me and Phil actually haven't talked since then. Mm. Yeah, because he wasn't happy because he had pretty much, you know, he had taken a whole two months off. Yeah. And I understood. Um, but, yeah, he was going to make a bunch of money too, so he wasn't happy either. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a bit ruthless, but um, fuck it. Just, I had to do it, eh? Mm. And uh, honestly, it was the oh. best decision I ever made. Nothing can beat Bean, that bro. anxiety thing, eh? Oh. Like how it comes up, oh. especially when it gets you for the first time, like that probably was the first time you got hit with the proper yeah. like brain fuzz bro. and the weird. Bro, just, I'm, that's the weirdest feeling, eh? Yeah. So weird. They, even like my, because my mates came over and when they found that I cancelled and shit, Tamu and James. Tamu was like, bro, you're going to make heaps of money, eh? And then James had, I think James has anxiety or had so he understood and he was just like, bro, fuck the money. You wouldn't even be thinking of that. And I was like, bro, I don't care. Eh? I was like, I just want to be home and make videos in my fucking office. Like <laughs> that yeah, was yeah. literally all I wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. Hard. But I was like. Come a long way, <laughs> bro. Yeah. Hundy, hundy, hundy. Yeah. Thank God I don't have to fucking actually go on tour to make money now. Mm. Cause I think that's also why I first, I didn't go on tour because I wanted to do stand up, you know. Yep. I never had, you know, grew up wanting to do stand up or I literally did stand up to make some money, eh? That was it. Uh, to support the YouTube. Yeah. The YouTube hooby. Yeah. <laughs> and now you've like carved out a way where you can just do it from the do it from the fuddy. Yeah, do it from the fuddy. I wanna like, you know, I wanna do bigger shit though. I'd love to do like a play, you know. Yeah. Instead of a tour, like not like a stand up, like a play where you act on stage. Yeah, because everyone knows your mum, you know, yeah. and your all the different characters you play. Hard It'd out. It'd be a pretty cool show. If you could, how can you do yeah. that? How, drama. What, how, <laughs> yeah. I'll do, I'll do that again. again. Do what, what should we do? Yeah, go give us give us the pitch. Go, JP. Um, should do a drama show, bro. Mm, no, drama? Like yeah. Do a drama play. Yeah. What's going to be in it? How's it going to work? Um, oh, I don't know. So no comedy. We'd need to start writing it if we're. Yeah. 
So let's write it. Let's write it. Let's write a scene. scene. Let's write a scene. Yeah. Okay, JP. Like this dog you just grew up with your whole life. Like, I ever since you're a baby. So right now you're like 15 years old, bro. Yeah. 16 years old, and this dog has grown up with you your whole life, bro. Right from birth. You come home, bro. And this like, sort of like Beethoven, bro. Play you've, Beethoven, the you've, dog. You've slept with this girl, bro. <laughs> you've slept with this girl. And your brother's crazy ass, bro. And she hates you. And he hates you. And you come home, bro. And this dude has killed your dog, bro. Like right there in front of you, bro. The dog's dead. And you're standing over it. And you're a pussy, by the way. Yeah. Like, right. You will never fight him, right? You just broke him. Act go action. Just broken, just sad. But you're sad, yeah. Action. Bro, you killed my dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, nah, that was my fault. So then again, bro. Okay, so you just rocked up to a house, bro. Your dog, bro. The dog you grew up with. Oh, oh my Since dog. Birth. Was bro, dead. My dog died, bro. Yo. Hey! Who's in the house? Hey! Hey! Who are you? Who are you? This is my house. What are you guys doing in my house? Hello. Hello. You're in my house. (laughs) Hi, monkey. Hey, monkeys. Hello. Hello. Hey, baby girl. What's up? (laughs) Hello. There's a mission. Missions. Missions on. Yeah, that's kind of it though When you're like that AJ Like they just walked in and like What's What's happening This has changed yeah. Things have changed My whole house is different Things are Who are these people Who are what, these people What are they doing Who are these Who are these yeah. old people What are they doing in my My hood Those are the kids Yep Cut Yep Hey baby Yep My what Oh Oh, okay. Who's behind you? Are people behind them again? Is that Micah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But well, people have always you. bought them. Hmm. But um, so it's not just like you know. Well, Pokemon spiked Hundy in the last like few months, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, especially this year. Oh, is that why you're asking me for some? Anyone's collecting that stuff? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm looking for all the games just for myself. Yeah. But even like the games are worth like a couple hundred bucks, you know. Like some of them, if they're like still in good condition, like the boxes and stuff. But yeah. um, bro, so there's like even like basketball cards and stuff like oh, that, yeah. you know, like like the rookie cards. <coughs> like two weeks ago, JP's sweating. Like two weeks ago, two weeks oh. ago. Oh. Why is it? Cause I'm fucking hot as a. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I always sweat, bro. Oh, two oh. weeks ago. Um, uh, Kobe Bryant rookie card. I think it was signed as well. Sold for three hundred grand US. Wow. Yeah, bro. And a PSA ten. <laughs> yep. Three hundred grand US. And then, um, like a uh, week before that, a LeBron rookie card, not even signed, and a PSA ten sold for about two hundred and eighty grand US. So, bro, there's oh these cards gosh. out there that you don't even know about worth so much money, bro. And like even like uh like you collect rookie cards now of um like uh like the good you know the new ballers that are coming into the NBA. If you get their rookie cards and you know, if you think they they're gonna be like the best and like, you know. So what is a rookie so, card? A rookie card is the card of the first time they've been chosen for a team. Oh yeah. So it'd be like the first time they played for NBA. But you know how everyone has different like there's like Spalding and there was like all the different kinds of cards. Is that uh, what you're talking like? Collector cards, yeah, like trading cards. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know how they're like. There's all different companies. Yeah. How do you know which one's a rookie card? Uh, uh so I think you get it in certain packs. So like the uh, like booster boxes are for Pokemon, where you get they do types of sets, different types of sets. Yeah. I uh, say so yeah. I think rookie cards would have been um they because uh, I don't know much about basketball cards like actually buying the packs, um but I think they'll drop a certain type of set or whatever. And yeah, or rookie cards will be in them. I think you might get one rookie card in every pack or something like that. Mm. Um, but you won't be able to get like a 
like say like the LeBron packs and stuff with the LeBron rookie cards and stuff, those packs are probably like fucking 10, 20 years old, you know? So um, you could probably still buy those packs, but they'd probably be worth fucking heaps, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, but even like, uh, if you know new players, you know, like, um, that are in the NBA that are just coming up and, you know, you get their rookie cards and say these become the best players in 10 years time, 15 times, maybe if not the best, you know, their cards will be worth fucking heaps, their rookie cards, you know, I think the most expensive card we can look it up is like, is like a, it's a baseball card or something. I think like from the fucking nineties or some shit. And um, it's worth like I think a million dollars or something, oh like God. some ridiculous shit, but like but like that. But do you know Magic the mm. Gathering? This is what I was seeing just yesterday. Fucking Magic the Gathering. Mm-hmm. Um, just yesterday on eBay, I saw was this one card. eBay, um, <laughs> eBay, sorry, on eBay, eBay. Uh, Magic the Gathering was this card called a Black Lotus card, and it wasn't even um graded, bro. It's just like a raw card, quite damaged as well. And it was going for like 600 grand USD and oh. people were bidding on it, bro. And I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Mm. And that's the most rarest card in the Magic of the Gathering. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, trading card game. Um, so yeah, I was just like looking up because I'm, I'm into my Pokemon cards at the moment. Yep. And I'm just like looking up the like the most expensive cards and stuff and just, shit's just crazy. Eh? Shit's crazy. Did you ever collect cards? No, JP? but I'm pro- quite interested in starting one up now because <laughs> I've never done it. I, 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 what about Bro. New Zealand basketball cards and rugby cards? And um, yeah, like yeah. a John, John Alomo rookie they card? Yeah. yeah, bro. We don't even call them rookies, eh? Mm, but there wouldn't be um, probably a, a, there could be a market, yeah. So, mm. yeah, you want what everyone's getting, you know? Yeah, true. But yeah, fucking like um a first edition Charizard and the PSA ten is three hundred thousand New Zealand eh? dollars. Oh my god. I mean three hundred thousand USD, sorry. Yeah. A Charizard, so you know, graphic, holographic, first edition and the PSA ten. Bro, and you know the first edition booster box, bro? So the first ever Pokemon cards that they made, the booster boxes where you get thirty six packs in it. Yeah. That sold for like 350 grand USD like last week. Like a first edition one. Like that's crazy, eh, bro? So what's like, imagine having like a bunch of those sealed product, you know, buying them back in the days for $100. Oh. In the 90s for $100. Keeping this shit sealed for... And that's what collectors have done, bro. Yeah. There's people that have done this, bro. And especially in the last two years, the prices spiked up hundred hundred. And then these collectors, bro, would just be making millions, bro. Millions. Just selling this shit off, bro. Like, it's crazy. Oh. Like, there's a dude that has, like, he's called the Charizard King. And he went yeah. on Porn Stars, like, a few years ago trying oh, to sell Gary. That. Yeah. <laughs> trying to sell his Charizard collection for 500 grand, which he actually wasn't going to sell. He was just doing it for, like, publicity. Yeah. That's worth, like, $10 million now, that whole collection. All right. And he's got, like... He's got like 10 plus Charizard first editions and PSA 10s. And then he's got two that are like known as Black Label from Beckett 10s, which is like there's only two of them in the world and he has both of them. And they're known for $500,000 cards, eh? Just alone. So this is like dudes sitting on a 10 million collection and just Pokemon cards, eh? Just Charizards. Oh, gosh. Shit's out the gate, bro. I just remember the cards, we'd just bring them in the slats at school. Yeah, bro, binders. <coughs> yeah, yeah. We'd have those. Bro, I just remember this one I guy was, was like real Dragon stingy. Ball, yeah. I mean, this oh, one, yeah. all I can remember was this one dude that was just so stingy with like, you know, when you trade and you'd be like, oh yeah, I'll give you this and this for that, Carmelo alone or something, you know, like and switch, <laughs> switching cards. But there was this one guy who was just like so hard out stingy. Yeah, it was like, yeah, he's on the tramp. Oh yeah. Fuck, that's cracker. Yeah, well, no, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't Andrew trade Perry. his cards. Do you remember Andrew Perry? Yeah. Andrew Perry, yeah. What did he not trade his cards? Oh, he's just always stingy. It was just sucked, you know, do, doing any deal trades with yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Andrew, if you're watching this and you yeah, got any bro, cards, stops. hook it up, bro. Nah, stingy. Don't do any deals with him, mate. Still probably stingy as yeah. he. Yeah, that introduced me hey, to the world he's pro- of If he's stingy, he's probably still got his cards and he's probably cracked it. Nah. <laughs> true. <laughs> Honestly. True. But, bro, I remember because I, I collected Pokemon cards. I never had because, bro, my mum couldn't afford it, bro. Like, I honestly think she bought me, like, like five packs of like cards like you know Yu-Gi-Oh Dragon Ball Z fucking 
Pokemon altogether. Like I think, like honestly, like the rest I stole. Like honestly, I stole so much fucking shit. But I, mean, I don't think I had the best <laughs> cards there. Like I don't remember having a Charizard Hollow and shit. But I remember having heaps of Pokemon cards. But I wish I still had. I do remember having a stack like this. Mm. Like, you know, once my mates got over it and shit and they gave me theirs. But man, I just gave away all my shit, eh, man? What's the uh, best thing you stole? Oh, the best thing I stole? Yeah. Whoa. Um, oh, that's a hard one. Um, so like, oh, the best, we'll just go. Well, the best like, experience and why? And Yeah, we'll go, best thing I stole as a kid. Hey, hey, we'll just keep it at, we'll just keep it at that. Um. So best thing I stole as a kid, bro, probably a Pokemon Ruby. Yeah. A game. Yeah. That's because I was so into my Pokemon games. Yeah. Like so I'm jamming them all now <laughs> even. Yeah. Um, crack up was off my mate too, sadly. <laughs> he stole off me though. We were like those best mates, you know, yeah, stealing yeah. off each other and shit, bloody Maoris. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I stole, um, shout out to Jaden. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I stole up his Pokemon Ruby, eh? Yeah. But it was after you'd stopped playing it anyway, so it was all good, you know. Yeah, how'd you do it? it? How'd you go about it? Um, like I just I kind of stole it like right in front of me, like <laughs> <laughs> like we were about to go to the internet cafe or something, and I stole it, knowing I was going home afterwards. And then like he knew I stole it, but he couldn't prove it. And then I was getting, I knew I was getting Pokemon Ruby or Pokemon Sapphire that Christmas. And like, um, this is when I knew Santa was real as well. So the Christmas presents were already under the tree, you yeah, know, before yeah, Christmas. Yeah, yeah. And like, I was, I picked up one of them and like my mate Storm, and I was like, it was a Pokemon game. And I was like, bro, this is Pokemon Ruby. And then, um, so that was kind of my excuse for like the, my backup story. Yeah. And uh, so I said I got it early. Once um he they kind of caught me with my Ruby in the back of my Game Boy. Yeah. And I was like, nah, I got it early. And Jaden was like, where's the box? Show me the box. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I threw it out. Like, <laughs> like that, uh, that and shit. And then yeah. when Christmas came, I didn't, I didn't actually get Ruby. I got Sapphire, the blue one. <laughs> so I was like, and Ruby's a red one. Yeah. And I was like, fuck. And I was like, can't really prove. But yeah, he'd kind of forgotten about that. And then I'm pretty sure he stole something off me later on to make up for it. Eh? Yeah. But yeah, that was probably one of my, because I remember when, because my, my mates would always just rock up to my house, you know, they'll just rock over. Like, because I lived next to the wharf too. And we always jumped off the wharf. So when I played the Ruby game, I would play in my closet <laughs> just in case they walked through my house saw me playing it. Eh? So yeah. I'd hide in my closet, bro, and be like, <laughs> like playing it. Eh? Then I'd like, if they'd rock over, I'd save it, bro, and be like, yo, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's crack up. How about you, JP? Oh, Going to get good times. You stole something? Oh. Most memorable, most memorable oh thing you gosh, stole? I don't think I should talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, do it. We're going all out here. Oh. Yeah, no, nah, um, probably, uh, probably cars, bro. Oh, oh geez. Okay. Yeah. yeah, maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. What a thief. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Toy cars, eh? Toy cars. Yeah, bro, bro. <laughs> yeah toys, bro. Yeah. Hot wheels. We'll shit. just cut yeah, that bro. bit there and we'll just come back in. Yeah. Toys, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Yeah. bro, I'll tell you this funny as one. Because I stole, bro, I used to steal heaps of lollies from the dairy and yeah. shit. Yeah, no, my mates used to do that and they always used to go, oh, I'll just buy one, get one free. And I was like, what does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> because they'd like steal one and then yeah, pay, buy, buy one, yeah. pay for one so they'd like be not guilty. Always got to pay for something. So, yo, watch your show, my bro. Yeah, I'll chuck it on my phone, G. <laughs> what do you want to watch, bro? You want to watch Big, big Dog? Uh, what show? What show do you want to watch? Uh, Netflix. What show do you want to watch? What's his favourite show? He usually watches Pokemon. Pokemon. You want to watch Pokemon? There you go. Oh, it looks like you're up to a gym battle. There you go, bro. The man, eh? Ever since I got back into Pokemon, like I opened Pokemon cards with him and stuff. Yeah. All right, this dude loses it, eh? We pulled a Charizard, bro, the other day, bro. Hey. Fah, I got the video on my phone. Fah, like even he was losing it. 
It's so cool. And then, yeah, I'm into the games and stuff. So, yeah, he watches the show, loves the show. And I'm going to get him to play all the games on Game Boy when he can. But Pokemon's a shit, bro, honestly. I was handy oh. into the game. But I was still I playing Pokemon when I was like, I think the last, I, fin- I stopped playing Pokemon games when I was like 12, 13. Like, yeah. Because I clocked them all up to Ruby and Sapphire and I stopped. And now there's like another 10 that I haven't played. So I'm playing them at the moment, eh? Because I'm the real life Ash. I'm a fucking Pokemon master. <laughs> real top. Ah, uh, true. What about Dragon Ball Z? Bro, bro no, I was hunting. So, yeah, when I was talking about the card collecting, I only collected Pokemon for like one year. But I was hunting into Yu Gi Oh and Dragon Ball Z. Eh? Yeah. Um, especially like when the Yu Gi Oh show, I was all about the Yu I think Yu Gi Oh was the biggest I was most into. Because that was like in the actual show, they fucking had the cards, bro. And I was like, bow, I'm going to fucking summon a blue eyes with Dragon. So, yeah, so, I was all into that. But one story, you know how you do the card trading at school? Yeah. I remember we would just even look at each other's cards and your past. Bro, so trustworthy. I couldn't believe. I wish I had a smarter mind back then. Because we would just hand each other our decks, bro, and be like, yo, look at my cards. Yeah. You look at mine. And I was like, bro, like, why don't I just fucking steal all these dudes' good cards? <laughs> uh, Lucky my mate was actually smarter than me because that's what he did. And he stole this dude called, his, this dude called, was called Eban. And I remember he was like this little rich white posh kid. He was actually my mate. He was actually my mate. I went to his house and stuff. Um, his name was Eban. And he had a blue eyes white dragon. I remember he just got it. And my mate Joseph, who was like this, my moldy mate, and he was like poor ass too. And he was like a mean fee And like um, one time, bro, like all these, we're all showing each other's cards around, bro. <laughs> and then Eban like comes walking around. He's like, can I look at your deck? Can I look at your deck? And I was like, yeah, yeah, my best cards are at the back because I always keep my best cards at the back. Yeah. And he went straight to the back and he's like, nah, it's not there. And I was like, yeah, what the fuck? What happened? And he's like, someone stole my blue eyes white dragon. Like, <laughs> and bro, oh. I was just like, fuck, no way. And like everyone was fretting out, bro, looking at everyone's deck say, and I was like, holy shit, like helping him because I wanted it. Eh? But yeah, I was like, fuck, I can't believe someone stole it. And I was like jealous that someone had stole it. Yeah. I was like, I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> And then, bro, crack up as you, and I always hung out um, after school and just played at the school, like climbing roofs and stuff. Heaps of us poor kids did. <laughs> and and Joseph was there, but my mate, my other Maori mate, Joseph, and we were climbing roofs, bro, looking for balls and shit. And he was like, oh, look what I found, bro. And he came down and it was a blue eyes white dragon, bro. <laughs> and I instantly just looked at him, I was like, did you steal Eban's card? And he's like, yeah, shh. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was really jealous saying, I was like, fuck, no way. And yeah, fuck it. I didn't tell him or anything. And yeah, he ended up getting a blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> and I was real jealous. I was like, fuck it, was I stole that? Didn't think of that. And yeah, man, fucking Joseph got a blue eyes white dragon right now. So that, a blue eyes white dragon, which this cunt stole. And a PSA 10 is worth... 12,000 New Zealand dollars. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so he actually stole a $12,000 fucking card back then, bro. Crazy, eh? That shit's crazy, money, right? So bro. yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh as well. All cards are worth a lot of money, man. If you can get them graded and shit, they come back making this shit even ungraded yeah. with heaps. So that's crazy, man. It's fucking crazy ass. Funny ass story. I remember that so well, man. Fucking tried to say- Did you ever get bullied in school? Uh, nah, not bullied. Must not have been bullied. someone that put it, put Fuck. the pressure on you though. Um, yeah, I, I had. What was there? Oh, oh, I, was, I, oh my, my, I had mates that were bullies, like <laughs> you know, like um, yeah, yeah. I had a lot of scraps at school. Eh? Um, that was the most fights I ever had in my life, probably in primary. I used to go hard with this little dude called Jay Williams as well. Sort of wild not the Jay Williams. Nah, you're not, gonna nah. set it off. Get a nah, bit not, set not it off. Ghetto flower. <laughs> My ghetto flower. Ghetto oh. flower. Nah, he was this little white dude, eh? But he was a little psycho, so he just used to have scraps all the time. Uh, nah, didn't get bullied. I think, uh, nah, I wasn't a bully either. I used to, like, um, you know, back up, for the, back up the nerds in my class. I would bully them, yeah. like tease them. But they were like yours. But they were my bullies, you know, <laughs> it was like my, my nerds. I was like, no yeah. one else could bully You're them. like that guy in jail that like has, what you know, like those little, what do they call them? When they bone them and then they like, Bitches? it's my, yeah, yeah, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't, I'm not that. <laughs> 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 but yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So I'm um, nah, never, never got bullied. I got teased by my own mates every now and then for being skinny and shit. Mm. But yeah, it's that's where I got my roasting from, probably all the comebacks. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm always my mates trying to tease me. I say, like, oh, your mum can't. <laughs> 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 Do you get bullied, JP? What about you, JP? Do you get bullied? Nah, not really, eh. You did the uh, bullying, well, eh? I, I, at school, like, because I had, like, a, I had long hair. Me. Some of the dudes used to say I look like a girl, but... Yeah, fuck, whacked them over. It, Smitty smacked them up. Yeah, yep. stopped there uh, after that, because... After you smacked them up? Oh, uh, I think I... Yeah, I think I would have showed a bit of one anger, eh? Yeah. Yep. I would have been, like, about seven or s- six or... S- hey. Yeah, seven or... <laughs> did eight. your dad bully T come and tell them all? <laughs> 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 No, yeah, no, nah, not really. Yeah, he didn't really get bullied, yeah. bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the man. Nah, yeah, yeah. bullying's not cool, eh? Yeah, no, I didn't really bully anyone, and I didn't get bullied. So, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Do you ever play ball? What what sort Bush. of games did you guys play at school? <laughs> oh, I used to play oh. kiss and chase. Yep. You know, in the young days, like six, seven. Yep. Kiss and K-I-S-S-I-N-G chase. K I S S I N G. Yep. Up a tree. What was the song? Ah, Jimmy and someone up a tree. Jimmy and. First comes marriage. Someone then comes up the comes tree. K I S S I N G. First comes love, then comes marriage, marriage. then comes the baby in the baby carriage. Oh, that was uh, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah. I can't remember that. That's gone though. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, but that's what girls used yeah, to say. Yeah, that was like chase. Uh, I think we used to play tag with like a ball. Yeah. Like if you'd throw a ball at. Someone yeah, to right. tag them. Yeah. Oh, cops and robbers, bro. Oh, oh yes. That was a classic. Gee, that was my most. Favorite game in the world, eh? Like as a kid, um, I don't know why we didn't play it every day, man. Just n- not everyone was there on the field, eh? Yeah. At all times, but I remember we played <laughs> cops and robbers, and yeah. fuck, we used to have the meanest cops and robbers, man. The bases and shit, yes. and everyone played properly. Like if you caught them first, we bang, they were yeah. like fuck. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, stay down for fifteen seconds, and like shit was real intense back then, eh? Fucking pow, pow, pow. Cross country, real lit. Loved yeah. cross country as a kid. Um, from like yeah, from like in like year four, five, and six, I think I came third in every one. Like, bro, that's so pretty many, good. But school, the, yeah. school cross country. Yeah, school yep. cross country, bro. There was sweet. I went to the inter schools, bro. Oh, in cross whoa. country. Yeah. That's fun, again. Yeah, bro. It was so competitive. But I was like real into running, but I could never beat the stu- Travis Brown and Tom something, bro. Travis was in my class. He was this little South African boy, and fuck, he was always so fast, bro. We were so many fast dudes at my primary. And I remember fucking could never beat them. And this dude, Tom, though, he was this, like, white rich boy. He was just fast, bro. Like, he was just the born runner, eh? And this, no one could beat him. He was, like, a pretty boy. Like, he wouldn't even talk, eh? It was just, like, looked like he wasn't even trying, eh? And he would smoke everyone. So, yeah, I always came third, eh? Could never beat them. I was, like, always right behind them, eh? Never beat them. And then, yeah, after we got the intermediate, fuck, it got real hard, like... Yeah. Like, bro, I was coming 10th <laughs> like, by then and I gave up by college, bro. I was like, nah. So, yeah, that sucked. But I loved that, man. I was really good at athletics too. Yeah, man, loved my relay races and stuff. Ah, oh, those on. I loved those running. Days, eh? Did you do any cross country? <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah, yeah. I got, I got out that? of it, eh? <laughs> I managed to get out of that athletics. and. Did you like PE? No, I wasn't really One of those ones, eh? What did you like in school? What did you like to do? Uh... Just like the girls and <laughs> lunch. Yeah. What was usually in your lunch? Wait, wait, were you like Maori class? Fuck, gee, that'd been crack. What's yeah. are you? Did you go to a Maori school? Nah. Oh yeah. Nah, I went to like yeah, English, and they they did teach Maori and stuff there, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't really yeah, sporty. Yeah, yeah. Hard. Hard, hard, hard. So hard. what did you, so lunch? What was in your lunch then? Oh, what was in your packs? Pack or, lunch. Um, chips. Yep. Um, chips. Sometimes those little bluebird packs. Oh, yeah, the tuck shop. Tuck yeah. shop as well. Bro, I used to. Bro, I yeah, got a funny bro. tuck shop. Ah, uh, tuck bro. shops. Oh, Cousins. yours. Well, I remember your one. I know your tuck shop. <laughs> yeah, bro. The stealing one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know that bro. one. <laughs> it's so lovely. I was a little fucking naughty yeah. cat, man. <laughs> True. So you just go to school for lunch and girls? Yeah. Wow. And Maori class and. Yeah. Well, that would have been like primary school mm. and intermediate was. Same. Get even the Maori girls, eh? Yeah. Oh, Sarah May, eh? Fucking you over in the shed, eh? Hey, she stop for real. Yeah, bro. Hey. Hey, um, when was your first kiss, JP? 
How old were you and who was it? I was 15, bro. Oh, hey, your first kiss? No, not like... Pesh. Like, oh, pesh, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, first pesh. Kiss kiss and catch, though, like, you know, like little... Under the... Nah, write notes in that, too. Oh, yeah. Hey, what, with your first kiss? uh? Nah, like, with girls, you write a note. On the ta- on on a paper, yeah, and give it to them. <laughs> oh yeah, just to like, but yeah. when you were fifteen. Oh no, nah, before then. Oh yeah, like yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is when you were just first interacting and with then, fem- uh, the first female. Right? Was yeah. Like that, eh? yeah, I yeah. did that. I did that actually. Yeah, because you're in that. Because we didn't even have phones in there. Yes, yeah. Sir. Yeah. So pass them. Do you pass them around? Yeah, bro. Or yeah, you get someone. You get someone else thing. to ask them out for you. Pass it. Yeah, and that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You'd get the yeah, old. Get yeah, I'll get you something soon. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. You get oh, a mate wow. to. Yeah, bro. Always oh. get the mate, bro. I remember one time, oh. like when <laughs> um, when I broke up, it was I think was this my first girlfriend, bro. I think it was. Eh? I was like eight years old, bro. Her name was Vivian. She was actually a model, bro. We were eight, and she was a model, eh? She was, a, she was actually a brown chick. I can't remember where she was from. She was from some buzzy-ass country, so she was like a buzzy race. But she was like, just like, didn't have an accent or anything. She grew up in New Zealand. But she was, her parents were rich ass. She used to live opposite my street. And then, like, her house was huge. Her dad didn't like me. Um, uh, yeah, as always. Yeah. Um, but uh, I remember, uh, like, we went out. She was like my first kiss, too. We didn't hook up because we were like eight. And then, like, we just kissed on the lips. That was my first kiss, like, behind the, after school, behind the back of the school. Yeah, bro. Um, and then, like, <laughs> one week later, I didn't want to go over after that. <laughs> 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 it was so weird, man. It was like the kiss put me off. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, what, does she have smelly breath or something? Nah, nah. She was real, like, real pretty, bro. Like, yeah. like, like, and she was, like, real, like, like clean and dressed, like, really nice because she was, like, rich. Yeah. But it was just, I think it was my weird mind, eh? Like, when I kissed her, I was like, Ugh. I was like, Ugh. so, um, yeah, yeah I, I think it kind of put me off. And then, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she wanted to go to the movies or something, like planned to go to the movies. And like, she like had to ask my mum and shit. And I was like, oh, nah, like, like, nah, I can't go. And we kind of broke up. I remember when we, um, oh, she broke up with me, bro. That's right. She ended oh. up with me, bro, because we were in the same class and we were in the library, bro. It was library time. Yeah. But I can't believe we were eight years old doing this shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it was library time. <laughs> and I was like getting my book, bro. And um, she just came up to me and she was like, hey, Jimmy. And I was like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this fucking happened. Dude. And she was like, bro, now I think of it, she was really, like, really responsible. Wait. She was like, this isn't really, like, working out. <laughs> bro, I'm not even lying. And she was like, I think we should just be friends again. And I was like, and I was just like, oh, yeah, sweet. Yeah, all good. She was like, okay, sweet. She was like, see ya. And I was like, see ya. And, like, yeah. And I was like, fuck. I was, like, buzzing out. Eh? And I was like, shit. That was real out of it. And then, like, I, I started to realise that I was kind of pissed off. And so, like, I went up to my mate afterwards, eh? And I was just asking any to come. <laughs> I went to my mate. I was like, bro, can you go ask out Rachel? And then she was like, nah. And then I was like, can you ask out Sarah? And she was like, nah. I was like, can you ask out Mary Lee? And she was like, nah. And I was just like, fuck it. Hell, man. <laughs> and then I just gave up. Hey, but fuck, there was crack up ass, man. Oh, man. I remember one when I was in class, maybe we were like seven. And there was like, it was after class. And so there was like, Three, there was three, three of the boys, and there was these two girls, and I was like, "Oh, what's everyone up to in here?" And then it was like, kind of after class, so it was like everyone was kind of like just vibing, and I was like, "Oh, cool." And then one of the dudes, like, he he had he pulled down his shorts, and then he had shorts underneath, and he was like walking around. He's like, "Yeah," and I was like, "Oh, fun, that's cool." Yeah, because I, I remember I didn't wear undies; I wore two <laughs> pairs of shorts. And I was like, "Oh, yeah, hey, yeah, I can do that too." And then I like got everyone. I was like, "Oi, oi, oi!" And I like pulled, but my thumbs <laughs> caught both shorts, <laughs> and I just like. <laughs> Pulled it down and then it's just Willy and I was just like, oh, far shame. And then oh. everyone was just like, oh. what the? <laughs> Who's this weird guy? <laughs> you know that game? Bro. Boom, bro, boys and all. Worst. 
Yeah. Bro, that's the worst. Bro, I still remember the embarrassment. Oh, I'm still embarrassed. That, man. Yeah, that was hard. Bro, but can you imagine the excitement that I was like, yeah, we're yeah, two pairs of shorts so oh, Everyone check this, boom. Just mean honey. <laughs> and pull both of them pulled down. Pull both of them, bro. Oh, I hooked no. them wrong. I <laughs> no, that's so terrible. Bro, it sucked. Oh, fuck that. It sucked, man. Fuck, I'd be so embarrassed. It still sucks. I'd be so embarrassed. <laughs> Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. I'm trying to think of an embarrassed time that yeah. I embarrassed myself at you get school. Embarrassed at school. Oh, what about them? I got a crowd fit with like a good old favorite was when um me and Shan, the cameraman, he's he's my brother, um we went to get our faces painted at like a school thing, and then so um he I was like oh, I don't know what to get. I just want something real cool. And we, you know, we're like boys, boys. You know, everything was like Transformers and stuff. And Shane yeah. was like, Yeah, no, I'm gonna be um Optimus Prime. So he got this mean as Optimus Prime like um, facial, you know, face paint f- at, at the school gala thing, you know, where they have the fudge and all that yeah. sort of stuff. And then he got Optimus Prime, oh, and I was like, yeah. "Wow, that's mean!" And I didn't know what I was going to get, Megatron or Bumblebee. And I was like, "Okay, sweet, oh, Megatron or Bumblebee." And I was like, "Okay, cool, Bumblebee." And then so she starts painting my face, and she's like, "Oh, it looks so good." And then I went over to look in the mirror, bro, and I was like, "Yellow, black, like ah, oh, Bumblebee, <laughs> no, like ah, no. oh, Bumblebee, bro, not no. Bumblebee, bro." Oh, I was no. like the girliest no. little Bumblebee at the gala. <laughs> No, I know. Bro. I can't Do believe you still remember that. that? Yeah. Bro. Bro. Oh. Yeah. That oh. happened. Oh, I'll be, did you cry? Bro, I just, I can still remember my young face looking in the mirror. It's cool, like, fuck. Oh, gosh. A bumble. Oh, my God. Oh, so oh. tore me apart. Is that was that like your school gala? Like yeah, eight, seven, eight years old. At Is the it those gala? things where you'd make and then you'd have like school money? Yes, yes, bro, yes, that yes. Was the school best. money, yes, like tower bucks or yeah, some yeah. shit. Yeah, and we used like there's that fudge and someone yeah, make sherbet, cakes. Sherbet, oh, bro, shit. spider drinks, spider drinks. You know, co- the food, yeah, and people made and stuff too. Eh? Yeah, everyone but made food stuff. Was the best. That's where you. It was like the trampoline thing, and you what we wore the bro. Yeah, you wore the Velcro thing. Favorite. Bro, that was my favourite. I loved that so School much. School galas. Because, yeah, I could never afford, like, yeah, we were so poor, man. So mm. when people had, like, all, with all my tower bucks, they were called back where, like, I had a stall too, way. Eh? I don't know. I think I made sherbet as well. Because that was always the hottest, bro. Everyone wanted sherbet. Bro, and you run the little things, eh? Just yeah, bro. Fuck yeah. And yeah. I remember I'd just get fudge, sherbet, just fuck heaps of it, bro. And just like sherbet. Smashing it back, sherbet. man. Fuck, it was the best day. Eh? Yeah. With my tower bucks, bro, my school money. Oh, Ooh. oh I was balling. I was balling. Fucking balling, bro. That was Cashed so up. good. That was gangster, man. Yeah, yeah. Ah, and you get fizzy oh. drinks. What about the, like, did you go to, like, the school dance and things like that? Discos, yeah. yeah. All discos, they, yeah. They, they discos. Were the best, yeah, the discos best times were of awesome, man. Because you could be, like, you could nut out with bro, your mates, like, yeah. and not have to be, like, yeah, this is school. This is, like, we bro, came to a party yeah, and bro, you'd have those little your jolly drinks. Would drop you off. Jollies. Yeah. Jolly yeah, drinks, bro. bro. Nah, well, you get a, ch- a bag of chips and a drink. Bag with of your chips ticket, and a bro. drink. Dollar so mix, maybe. As soon as you get in there with your, like, fair, you'll be wearing some glow sticks or some shit. You'll be like, ints, ints. Oh. And, like, Bob the Builder's playing game. And it's like, Bob, you're like, yeah, boys, what's popping? Oh. But do you remember oh. that, this, that um, disco script skit I wrote, like, for the show? Oh, yes. Yeah, actually, yeah. But I just couldn't. Nail it down to a team, yeah, but one yeah. time I performed it really well, eh? It was so good. Oh my gosh. I remember this, so I remember this one time at the disco, it was I must have been seven again. And then I was like with my mate and he was just like we we're just like dressed up real cool and we were just like partying and we were like spinning around in circles. Like just like I just remember just holding on to him and he was holding on to me and we we're just like, yeah, like just screaming into each other's faces. And then he started crying and I was like, Whoa, what what happened? And then he went home because he was like just started bawling his eyes out. <laughs> and then it wasn't until like later I saw photos of like the, the the school disco stuff and there was this photo of me holding as hard as I could onto his ears, spinning him around and his, he was crying and I was holding onto his ears, Whoa. spinning him around, but I couldn't remember. I just remember us going, yeah, just Whoa. so apt. But I was actually holding onto his ears, Whoa. spinning him around. Oh. Beast, eh? This dude oh. ripping his ears <laughs> yeah, off. I didn't realise I was so gutted when he went home and he was crying when we were having such a good time. You know, in my head we were like having a mess. We were just holding each other, spinning, going, yeah, bully, I know. Man, dude's traumatized. Yeah, bro. I know. He's stuck. Like, I was having fun. <laughs> sorry, with my Jeremy. Mate. Just <laughs> sorry, to Jeremy. Rip my ears off, man. Yeah, he's and my it best hurts mate. So much. He was my best mate, and then was he went home. Good afterwards, though. 
Yeah, yeah, we're safe. Was yeah. he like, yo, what the fuck did you do that for? <laughs> yeah, no. He was yeah, like, well, I can't even hear now. Can't <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember the photo though of him like, eh, and then I'm holding on to his ears like, <laughs> but uh, you know, that was like, you know, when oh. it was all blurry for me because I was just having a, such a good time with my mate. Ah, oh, bro, it was so good, bro. I'd just rock up to the disco, bro. Yeah. And then you'd be with the boys and you'd be like, oh, and like looking at the girls in your class scene, you'd be like, oh, who are you going to dance with? G? <laughs> <laughs> and you'd be like, oh, gee, I'm going to dance with her, G. Then you're like, one of you's. No, do you mean no one would be dancing in no the start? No one, bro. And no they're one. always like, yeah. never. As soon as one person danced, everyone would finally yeah. dance, bro. But that yeah. first step, bro. The first step, bro. Everyone was Ooh. like, you got to do it. Like, it's way always, too awkward. Bro, way too awkward, eh? That's like so awkward. Bro, it was so crack Standing up. against the wall. Bro, bro. honestly, yep. I wall. remember. So yes. School hall. Do you remember when you like, oh, when you liked the chick though? <laughs> bro, when you liked the chick though. Their feelings. That feeling, bro. And, Take it back and, to their and feeling. Then, and, you, and then you danced and then you with get, the chick you wanted oh, to dance with at no. your disco. Wow. It happened to me, bro, honestly. Yeah. And that was, wow. honestly, I still remember that How night, good. bro. Fuck, I remember I liked this chick called Blythe, bro. And she was in my, in my class. And like we did little, like we would play at like lunchtime every now and then, like say like we'll be waiting outside our class in the morning and like I'll be like playing with the ball and we'll do little passes and it's like little cute and shit, you know. And like I knew she liked me <laughs> and we did this one time. It was bad. This is the time I found that found the day I found that my dad died as well. I was following her like, like not following her, but I was like following her at home, like walking. It was kind of fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> so like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, don't worry. We we're both like eight years old, so yeah, it was yeah. all right. But I was like following her home because I told her after school, I was like, "I'm gonna follow you home, so I know where you live." <laughs> That's so weird, eh? But don't worry, we we're both eight years old, so it's all good. And she was like smiling, like, "No, you won't." And then I did, bro. Like, not all the way though, because you live fucking ages away, eh? And then yeah, I ended up like following her quite a while, and then it was close to us, and then I turned around. And then, um, but yeah, no shit. Got to like this disco. I think I was, I was like eight, nine, yeah, eight years old. And um, yeah, bro, I danced to her, bro, at the disco. And this is when we were holding hands. We're at that oh, stage. Did you bro. look into her eyes, or was yeah, it just like I feet? Because we were like talking. I think, yeah. eh? like you know, you talked as well. But I can actually remember this pretty sweaty well. Hands? Now I'm talking about yeah, swaying hands, sweetie. Nah, no, I don't think those. They, they could have been sweaty. I can't remember <laughs> that though. But we were holding hands. And I do remember, <laughs> it's so weird. No, I'm not, I don't want to get into the detail because it's fucking weird now <laughs> that I speak about it. But you know, holding hands, I remember it so well. And we're like talking like I was like, can't remember what we're talking about. I think I was talking about my mates. So I was like, yeah, he's such a dick, eh? like, You know, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, <laughs> it was stuff like that. Eh? And then I remember like, I was like, oh, okay, like I'll see you later. And like, I was like, yeah. And I walked off and my mates were like, oh. Yeah. And I walked over and I was like, fucking yeah. Like hype days, eh? And like, that was that was me. That was my night made. Yep. Like I, nothing needed to happen. I was, I was done. And I remember my mum picked me up. Like, I remember back then, like, when the disco started, it was still, like, kind of daylight. So my mum picked me up, and it was, like, just, like, like the just the moonlight, you know? It was, mm. like, it's not fully dark, but yep. quite dark. That nice. Yeah, nice night. Nice. The best time of the night. And mum was walking home. It was, like, you know, Friday, you know? I'm walking home, and mum was, like, asking me, like, how was it? And I was just fucking... In the stars, bro. Yeah. Walking home, bro. And I was just like, oh, man. So best good. feeling, eh? Like the best, bro. And I remember just like seeing balloons from the disco that had like, that were going, that were flying off from the disco and got all that, we gone all down the road. Mm. And I remember those balloons, bro, looking at them, bro, because I remember the memory so well. I was just like, fuck. Got home, had to go straight to bed. And I was just laying in bed, bro, like, fuck, like, fuck. I don't know what I mean, like, like so high. I know day, the feeling. Bro, just. Just such an amazing feeling to have as a kid, eh? And yeah, yeah, that was me. Night made, bro. Best best feeling to have as a kid, just laying there like, yeah. shit, man, I did it. Fuck, shit. I did it. I used to have that feeling with my cricket Fuck. bat. <laughs> <laughs> I, seriously, I was so fucking in love with cricket, man, when I was like eight, nine, ten. I used to sleep with my cricket bat. It was a Grey Nichols one, like Martin Crow signed it. And I remember this time I ran on the pe field with um, like Chris Kens, a big cricket player at the time. I ran on the field with a little Pizza Hut pen pencil. Those ones from Pizza Hut ran up yeah. and I gave him the pencil and the cricket bat to sign. And he's, he's such a huge dude. He couldn't even like grab this Pizza Hut pencil. He was like trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and he's just like so awkward there, like just <laughs> trying to grab this pencil and yeah, end up signing it. Oh, he's from the GC. Uh, yeah. Was he one but of that, the best? I know that feeling. Uh, yeah, he's one of the who played for New Zealand and all that. He was like one of the heroes. But Is he yeah, the I one remember. that always went like that? Oh, no. I don't even know who's that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, nah, Yeah, but no, nah, right. I, I know that feeling. Fui. Lying in bed. Can't be scoring today. runs. But being a kid, like, was like yeah, the, best, man. the feeling, all those feelings, the feelings there when you're you, a kid. Yeah. What's your best kid? Couldn't beat kid it. moment. Feel like the that feeling of just like when you're in love with the anything, eh? Yeah. Just because oh. everything was possible, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I really miss and I loved it when I was so so clean back then, bro. Like had no like no drama in yep. life, nothing yep. to worry about. Hundred Everything's no, magical. No bills, bro. No, <laughs> no, no none. Like, Everything's magical. Everything's yeah. it's like easy, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's what I miss, bro. When really did miss those those days that like bro, got young any, days? Got any specific anything specific that really rings in there? Like a, a specific memory, you know, like. That specific thing from the dance, or like I remember the like sleeping with my cricket bat and sh- you know that sort of feeling. Mm. Any like specific oh. things that happened to you when you went to something or you? Um, nah, yeah. bro, it's just a bit because all that yeah. matters is the moment, right, then, eh, yeah, That yeah. moment, yeah. You know, that's all you'd think about, man. Yeah. Fuck, it was so good. So good. So when does it start to change? Do you think from that? Because you feel that almost reckon, every day. Eh? You feel yeah. that when you're a kid, like every I day. Re- like. It changes when you start having to pay for shit yourself. That's exactly when it changes. I think. I remember one was mm. like when because we used to walk around from the school to the, to the from school to house. I mean, we used to walk around the back way. And it, you had to walk through like this foresty sort of area. And then the teacher like stopped all the class one day and she's like. Okay, everyone, and we must have been here about nine-ish, ten-ish, something like that. And she was like, no one's allowed to walk through the forest thing anymore because there was a man that was, that something something along the lines of like a scary man was doing stuff, you know, with kids around that forest. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, that like that little sneaky thought of like, oh, wow, like, Everything, everyone's not magic, you know. Everyone's yeah, not, yeah. You mean there's like bad people? There's yeah, like what? Is yeah, that actually yeah, a thing? Yeah. And that's a real scary feeling that kind of went in my heart, f- and like I still feel it. Like I can go back to that exact moment of like, what? Everyone's not yeah awesome and perfect and yeah, it's not a fairy tale. Like. Yeah, yeah. So I think it just maybe it's just like things like that just keep coming at you, yeah, and tearing definitely. you down, tearing down your magic. Realize it when well, you're growing <laughs> up, you're not yeah. a kid anymore. Yeah, yeah. realizing. Yeah, bro, there are you can actually yeah yeah die and shit yeah you yeah, cut bro. yourself on a thing and you bleed and you're bro, like, yeah. you're not invincible. I think it's ruthless, man. Yeah, it's oh, pretty hard. Bro, it's so cool. I remember playing mini ball as a kid. You know, mini ball before basketball. Bro. And I remember like it was like every Wednesday and I had the train sports and I was <laughs> training, bro, training my sh- my shots, bro. Uh, before we went down the Browns Bay Leisure Centre. Ooh, Brownsy. Fuck this <laughs> shit, bro. Skate park. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Ah, sports. So like, what about when you got to have a break <laughs> at school? Like, oh, while you were in, we're going to go outside for like a game. Oh, that in, was in primary school, bro. You'd that like halfway through, whatever. Yeah, we're bro. going out for a game now, and you play like t ball or something. Yes, oh, bro. Cricket. T-ball. Yeah, t ball was the best, bro. bro. And then when a girl comes into bat, everyone, all the boys will come in yeah, for an easy bro, catch. Come close to us, <laughs> come in for the easy most catch. Do a little tap, <laughs> and the people who are the first one to grab it. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh man, bro. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah, I remember t ball. Fuck t ball. I remember one time I fucking, because I used to play t-ball and softball, eh? and I remember one time I fucking, Joseph, bro, is yeah. my class, the dude who stole the Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> um, I remember fucking, me and him were like the best day, because he played um, soft t-ball as well. And I remember hey, we were on different teams, and he was out in the field, eh? and I fucking smacked it, I smacked the ball, eh? and it went so far, and he caught it, but he caught it like this, <laughs> and, and he caught it, bro. And it like <laughs> it caught it and it smacked him in the eye as he caught it, bro. And then he dropped it, bro, as he caught it. And bro, like he got fucked up, bro. Like his mm. eye was like like he had blood in his eye and stuff. And like and everyone, like when he caught it, they knew he got fucked. And like everyone kind of stopped stopped the game. <laughs> and then I saw that he dropped the ball, like so I'm fucking doing a home run, and like. <laughs> 
<laughs> and everyone's like, oh, Joseph and shit. And I'm here to be running around the field like, <laughs> trying to getting get a high run. <laughs> You're getting it. Bro, I was getting it. He's like my best mate at the time too. Uh, and I'm just like, yeah. home running. And like everyone out in the field is trying oh. to fucking like hold him and shit. And then yeah, I get my home run and I look over and I'm like, oh fuck, he's a bit fucked up. And yeah, they stopped the game after that, eh? And like uh, his right. eyes, like got blood and right. shit. He got rolled, eight. Eh? And I was like, oh, fuck. Speaking of bad sportsmanship, so like <laughs> when you were a kid, so we were doing cross country, right? And it was real competitive between like all of us swimmers. They were like the swimmers and we would always win the cross country oh, yeah, stuff because yeah, yeah. we were like, Cardio for days. Yeah, it was like five of us and one guy. This one time we were all out running. There was like four of us, five of us, like all in the lead yet running away. And then one of the boys, he just like fell to the ground. Oh, he's like just like oh, and like fell to the ground. And then all the other guys like stop, stop, <laughs> like to help him, bro. But I was like opportunity, <laughs> yeah. and then so I was off, bro. And then yeah, end up winning. Yeah. But then the best part, the best part was when um, like the teachers came around to all of the the five kids that were in that lead group and so they came into my class and then um the, the teacher came in and she was like uh Jermaine, can you stand up please and then like i went to stand up and then the whole class was there and then she came in with a certificate and she was like everyone um Jermaine was running in with the lead group with all the boys when josh fell over and he helped them up he helped josh up <laughs> and then i and then she bought the gave me the certificate and everyone was clapping for me and i, bro, I was just zipped it took it thank you oh <laughs> no yeah bro but i was not in that group that helped him bro, yeah. were the people in the nah, group there? nah they weren't there bro so oh, i quietly took that one it was, i would have taken yeah, that yeah, too, quietly took oh, fuck. fuck must have felt like the man and you still won yeah i won i won that but no i did feel way. guilty i did feel yeah. guilty but and then and the evil side of me in here was like no nah, we were just running too fast that he just did something he was so Oh, yeah, because yeah. you couldn't keep up with the pace, so that was just that's a good not, way to lots not of feel things guilty, happening. Eh? There's way. Like, <laughs> lots of dynamics going yeah. on. Think of any excuse you can to make sure that guilt goes away. Eh? <laughs> did, they, yeah. did they end up finding <laughs> out about that, bro? Yeah, oh no, he was sweet. They were all when they watched this podcast. Yeah, Josh, yeah, yeah cheers, yeah. Josh. Shot, got any Pokemon cards? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got any stories? You got any kids when you're a kid? When you're a kid, bro. Bro, did you win your first fight ever? The first time you had a scrap, did you win? Um, I'm trying nah, to think I of my had first a scrap, fight. I got jumped. I right. got jumped. Yeah. Did you? Did you? Did you throw a punch back at all? No, oh. got on the ground, bro. Because that would have been what, what? 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 What did it feel yeah, like? What happened? Oh, I just got knocked out on the ground. And hey. Got booted in the stomach. Oh, jeez. Did you get knocked out or just beaten up? Knocked out. Oh, hey. Yeah. Well, after like the first hit. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. So you don't remember the hiding, really? <laughs> well, sort of. But I remember some dude came, yelled out, old guy was like, Oi! and they saved me, bro. And then the dude that I was with, um, a dude that I was with says he knew the name of the person. And then my mother knew the name of the person, and it was a relation of ours, so it was pretty much a cousin, bro. That knocked you out? Yeah. It jumped you? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, bro. But we oh, sorted yeah. it out after oh, that. Yeah. Did you knock yeah. him out after? Apologise. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah, so. Oh, yeah. yeah, bro. Fuck, wow, what a dick. <laughs> was he, did he jump you by himself? Uh, no, he was with a car group of group of dudes, bro. I'm not going to say old names, are you? but yeah. How old are you? Hey? How old are you? I'm 34. Now, how old were you oh, yeah. <laughs> when you got jumped? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would have been younger than 18. I would have been. Oh, yeah. 16, 17 maybe. So was that the first time you oh, got a hiding? Or I've like been still like in college, but I wasn't even yeah. in college because I only did third form. Oh, yeah. So was that the first <laughs> time you ever got in a fight or yeah. hiding? Fuck you that. Yeah, bro. What about you, oh, Jimmy? <laughs> well, I've never actually ever had a fight. <laughs> or been, never? been fought. What the <laughs> luck? Yeah, no, never. Yeah, how how it started is. was um they they asked me to have a one out with one of his mates that I was already mates with, and I was like, no, nah, why? No, nah, we're all good. And then he was like, one outs with him, and I was like, oh nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, I'm all good. And then uh, and then they were like, out oh, one outs, and I was like, no, nah, no, nah, boom. And that's all I remember, bro. Oh <laughs> wow! And the dude that Ratchet. actually saved me, old guy, he was a Christian. And he went to one of the churches on the shore. Yeah, bro. Right. So yeah, he actually saved me, bro. Mm, you could say God saved you. Yeah. Well, yeah. He, well, he got saved yeah, by bro. God. Hey, she could have died that day, brother. Yeah. Yeah. 
But G O Double D came through. Yeah, man. Amen. He did. Amen to that. Who sits on? Okay, well, what about this one? When, when was the first time you had? Ever, wait, wait, can, wait. Is this like? Uh, is this like PG or anything? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's like, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of figuring that out as we go. Like, yeah. what the hell are we doing, and who's it for, and yeah, yeah, yeah. What level is it? So I think I don't know. Oh, oh actually, with this one, I reckon we're just like I'll make little cuts where it's. Yep, yep, maybe. Yep. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Or we could just see. Just put it all out there. Yeah, I think. I think. I don't think it should be PG. Like. Yeah, no, nah, because then, then gonna, we're going to be holding back on heaps. Like. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I think we should just go hard. Eh? Mm. Yeah. Um. So, so yeah, what mm. was your? When did you lose your virginity? Um. What does that mean? Like, like the. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, no, nah, when I first. Was um probably when I was. Fifteen, bro. Yo, to who? Oh, I don't want to say. Eh? Just say it. <laughs> Do it. Do oh, just tell us the oh. circumstances. Do it for the party. <laughs> Do it for the party. Oh yeah, well, don't say her name. Just you know, how old was she? Oh, she was a bit older than me. Yeah. yeah. Couple, oh, give me some money. Years right older than me. Hey, so fifteen yeah. and seventeen, eight. Hey. Oh. Hey, oh. Team Mickey. <laughs> team Mickey. Yeah. So. Well, wow, is that is that illegal? Yeah, that's uh, illegal. Is it? Was it New Zealand? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so they got to be sixteen, eh? I, I, I was a sixteen. Underage. I'm pretty sure it's sixteen. So you're underage, yeah. Yeah. That's a lot. Oh, who cares? Everyone fucking. I lost my virginity at 15. So yeah. yeah. Anyways, keep going. 15, yeah. 17? Yeah, that's when did I Did you that. like, like, how did it happen? Did you know this trick or uh, did you like her or just out of nowhere? Oh, uh, mm-hmm. no, nah, I didn't really like. Oh, I felt happy after. I felt ticklish. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 That's not what I asked. I've never really um never really spoken to anyone about it. Eh? He's <laughs> <laughs> probably watching it, eh? We're gonna watch it later. <laughs> oh man. Oh fuck. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh right, yeah, so okay. Yeah. So that's how you felt afterwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay um, Nah so like Did you know this girl Or did it just happen Like where did it happen Where did it happen I oh, have it at her house Oh hey me yeah. so Did she invite you over Hey did she Did she invite you over yeah, Or Oh fuck Getting invited <laughs> over By an older girl Were you nervous out? Yeah Did nervous? you know it was gonna happen Or did you Oh you, yeah No I was nervous yeah, No but did you know Like what, we, did you know This was the night I was sort of frigidly holding off on it, bro. Yeah. Oh, so she'd been waiting to like yeah. root you for ages. Yeah, because I'd never done it, bro. Yeah, yeah. I feel no, you, bro. Oh, true. So okay, I was okay. frigid yeah. too. Oh, yeah, I was yeah. a frigid. Oh, so yours, yours was an older one as well. Ah, uh, she was a year older than me. Yeah, yeah that's still that's year. still a lot. Hey, when you're like fifteen, or someone's sixteen, yeah, you're fifteen. I, think I was just frigid. I just didn't. Well, I wasn't. I, yeah, I just didn't know if I was ready. I was just yeah. a bitch. Yeah, 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 pussy. yeah. Like I no. wouldn't even reach some of my age. I, don't <laughs> think I, was, I was just like real scared of doing it. Eh? Yeah, yeah. But then yeah, it just came to the point where I was just like, yeah, I just I fucking, I just, I just did it. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Nah, but we'll talk about JVs. <laughs> 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 and, um, oh yeah, so no, wait, so she invited you over, JP. Yeah. Fuck me, Nez. So just, but still nervous as hard. Yeah, I feel, I feel, I understand that, bro. Um, so, but like, how did it build up, bro? So you came over. She was home alone. I'm guessing. Oh, it was just all like I was like all talk, bro. Like it sort of like it went on for probably went on for like weeks, like talking. Trying to say, oh, I'm gonna do this. Oh, and yep, yep. But, but so we'll, we'll just cut straight to you going over. Yeah. So it's happening. You're there. So like, how how did it how did it happen? To, like, did it, as soon as you walked in, did she like rip your clothes off? Or, like, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, what was the build up? How did you get there? Because there's quite yeah. a lot of awkward stuff that you yeah. gotta get yeah, through to get there. Yeah. Right. Just Hard. talking about all sorts of shit, eh? Like, yeah. yeah. Not that I remember. Wasting what time, mate. About, yeah. But, yeah. But all you're thinking about is like, fuck, what's gonna happen? Eh? <laughs> Yeah, what do yeah. I do? How do I? So, did she make the first move or? Did you bring a Connie? 
Yeah. Nah. Ooh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, had it raw, right? Oh, no. You had it raw. Yeah. Oh, hey, wow. Hey, what a Mustang. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Yeah, my G. <laughs> 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 Letting it raw at 15, mate. <laughs> 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 was, was condoms even around there? <laughs> I don't even know, bro. Like, <laughs> like you know, uh, we didn't learn that stuff. Like, uh, yeah, what until, school did you go to? I went to uh, Tuggeroo Primary, and then I went to. <laughs> yeah, well, you first um, get introduced to sex ed at yeah. fifteen, eh? Yeah. Not college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're yeah. fifteen when you're losing this um thing. Yeah. But there's no, there's no like real like um pathway. You got to walk the line, really, for your, well, for your own yeah, awkward experience to get there. Just yeah, there's, yeah. it's never. I don't think anyone is like, oh, it was awesome and it was straightforward. Yeah, it was, no it's way, it was so bro. awkward. There's yeah. no one, you're never confident in nah. going into this type of thing. Nah. You're straight into the deep end. <laughs> yeah. It's, but, very, um, always, it's very weird. So, had it raw. <laughs> had it raw. <laughs> had it raw. Um, yo, mean as, bro. So, yeah, did you just start hooking up and shit, eh? And then yeah. you started smashing it? Just kissing, bro. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. How long did you last? Fingering and that. Oh, oh. oh let's yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Far out, man. Far out, right? That's the hope, shit we didn't be talking hope, about, though. Hope my family <laughs> don't watch this, eh? Nah, nah, that's what we want, bro. Nah, it's they the won't, they won't watch it. They won't. Nah, nah, if they do, yeah. just make sure you like it, not dislike it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. So, um, yeah, yeah. Did, did you, was it her first time? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> nah, she was going for she it. She was I the reckon. teacher. Yeah. <laughs> she was the teacher and she you were a student. She was my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Not really. Yeah. Nah, mean as, eh? Yeah. Mean. Mean. And did you, yeah. Did you last? How long did you last? Oh, I don't know, bro. <laughs> uh, no. Probably not that long, bro. Oh, yeah. Can't remember it. It's your first yeah. time. Nah, can't you sure? remember you the sure? first time, bro. No, I, I I don't I last like three seconds, bro. I'll be honest. <laughs> wow. like, yeah, bro. In my first three D. Wow, I remember like and I always knew that it was gonna be like that, eh? I think it was just the build up. Then yeah, I just knew, bro. As soon as I touched they <laughs> oh, fuck, it was just over, man. It's over. So yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much how my Yeah, it's probably me, bro, day. yeah. Mm, it was crazy though. It yeah, was right. insane. Because you don't know that stuff that you have to, you know. Nah. Well, I stuck it in her butt first. <laughs> 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 oh, I was like, oh, it's not there. So what? <laughs> oh, where is it? I'm too drunk. <laughs> not even there. I'm too uh, drunk. Can you put it in? I'm too <laughs> <laughs> the old lies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the old lies. So, hey, when did you drink? So, what? No. <laughs> but nah, yeah. So, yeah, my first time was crack up, eh? Just fucking. Like three oh. seconds, bro, just exploded, eh? Just fuck. Yeah, it was like fireworks. <laughs> you exploded in the bum. Exploding. Roll over. And <laughs> I was gone, bro. I was gone, eh? Yeah. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was my time. <laughs> <laughs> I can see nice. why he said about talk about <laughs> it's deep, It feels real deep, eh? It feels real deep to go there. Fuck. It feels real deep to go oh, there. Oh, yeah. Real deep. Wow, <laughs> oh. oh, that was a mean one. That was a mean laugh. I'm like crying. Hey, fucking hell. Oh, my stomach's getting oh. sore from laughing. <laughs> Okay, what about what's 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 something other real cool like? <laughs> I like that, eh? Um, <laughs> oh, like parties, you know, your first yeah, like uh, parties. What about your first parties? Oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, first parties, first parties. The weirdest moments, eh? Um, oh, oh yeah, so I went to um, like all my mates were always going to parties, and I was like, <coughs> bit of a geek, you know, nah. 
<coughs> not really keen, all of that. Yeah. And then so and I always kept getting invited out. And so maybe when I was like 16 or something, went, I was like, oh, sweet, I'm just going to go to one. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Take some beers, you know. And it was like, because I thought it was a party, like you like go dressed as like themed and something. And <laughs> everyone was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be like a, you know, we're just going to have a mean party. So just come dress cool or whatever. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I got dressed up in my dad's old wedding suit, like a <laughs> full on. Go hard. Yeah, yeah, like going hard. Like I thought it was like a party. You turn up and you're like a character and stuff. So, or whatever. Yeah. So I okay. <laughs> Everyone was like, you know, hoodies and like back, backpacks with their beers and stuff. And like, I came in like the seventies oh, velvet yeah. suit with like all, all what gears. What was it? Oh, like a maroon velvet. Oh no yeah, yeah, way! Yeah, yeah, like a seventies maroon velvet flared. Hey, flared at the end. Shit, hey. Yeah, yeah, grease with the big boom, boom, collar and all boom, that. Boom, boom. And then so I was like, yeah, oh, sweet turned up, and then I was obviously that cat, that guy. So whatever, so we were just drinking and all that. And then I didn't. I was like. <laughs> Maybe like on my like fourth beer or something, and I started feeling like th- sick from it. Ooh. And I was like, far out. Okay. Were you so, wasted? Yeah, yeah, I was sort of wasted yeah. on four. Maybe it was like first time sort of drinking as well. And so I was maybe like four or five deep, and then I was like, oh far out. Oh, and I straight, I did. I was just sitting there with everyone, we're all having a laugh, and I was like, oh far out. <laughs> and then I just felt it come out, and I didn't have any like, I, it was just going to come. The spew was just going to come, and I was like, okay. So then I just turned around, turned around, spewed, but didn't want to look like egg, so I like. But it all came out here. Like this, and my cheeks were like bulging out a little bit, so screwing out the sides. <laughs> no. And I was just like, bro, I can't look, I can't look not cool right here. So then I was just like, <gasps> and then just <laughs> swallowed the whole thing back down. Oh, <laughs> full mouth, bro. I swallowed it all down for the for the boys. <laughs> oh. oh my god, man, no way. Yeah. Uh. Hey, you fuck what? Yeah, the yeah, nah. Hey. Oh no. Hey. Yeah. Oh, and no. I can still taste all of it. It was oh. so full on, eh? Like, bro, that's scarring, bro. <laughs> yeah, Fuck. I still remember all oh. of that. Oh, yeah. I've, I've done that, but I just let it go. Eh? Nah. I was like, I was I like, couldn't. Mm. yeah. Like walking yeah. down, and I'm like, yeah. I should have just walked out. And but done you feel it. so much better, eh? Yeah. No, but I, I understand swallowed that. it all back. I understand that, man. What a first time I can't. You didn't want to be that guy. Couldn't hey. show the show yeah, my hand. Yeah, no. Roll it up in the. Had to, had to fucking velvet maroon suit, <laughs> and I couldn't be the guy spewing yeah. up all over everyone after four <laughs> everyone beers at like been that guy. nine thirty. Oh. Yeah, nah, I had, to, had to. Oh, I can't believe you did that. Yep, easy. It was easy. Wow, <laughs> easy, no more drinks choice. after that, eh? <laughs> oh yeah, I can't remember. Oh, what wow, bro, well, good times. Mm. What was that? Nineteen ninety two. Oh fuck. It would, oh. yeah, fuck, it probably was. It would, it would have been the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> what was that school, bro? Like what? Ka- oh, that there? was a uh, Romati in Wellington. Romati, yeah, Romati. or Ramadi, as everyone knew, because we, we were like the only brown kids. Is it college, bro? Eh? College or intermediate? In Capri College. Capri, Capri Ice Cream. Yeah. Is that what, did they have Capri Ice Cream there? Oh, that was yeah, Lindale, the old, oh, yeah. just down the road. Oh, Lindale way. That's where they made all the Capri. Oh. That was like in the early days of Capri Ice Cream and Capri. Oh. Oh, since eighteen forty three, I believe. Yeah, nah, <laughs> early <laughs> days. <laughs> <laughs> early days, mate. That's old and spooky. Yeah. Hey, hey, far on. First time rocking out to the. That sounds. That's like a super bad story. Eh? Oh, it was super bad, Love mate. That. Super bad shit. Yeah. yeah. Rolling up like grease. You can tell by the way I'm Um, my first party. Oh yeah, man. I can remember it fucking real well. First time I ever got drunk. That was the first time I smoked bud too. I smoked a bit of weed. First time then as well. Oh yes. Thirteen. Yep. Thirteen. Just turned thirteen. Um, and this uh, girl mate Holly. Her parents were cool as, like, quite hippie. Uh, she was throwing a 13th birthday party. And we were allowed to bring alcohol, bro. And uh, we were walking from my house. Like, all the boys came to get ready at my house. My house was, like, the house, like, you could always stay at, you know? Like, yep. you know, there was no limit. Mom was sweet as. So we all came to my house in Browns Bay, and the party was in Murray's Bay, Rossay Bay. And it's when you walked everywhere as a kid, eh? So you all got ready at yeah. mine, and... We were fucking still trying to get alcohol and like we were like fuck we'll just sit outside the Rossay Bay alcohol store and we'll ask anyone that goes in to get us it. And then we, we walk to the Rossay Bay and we get to the alcohol store. And no shit, just as we get there, my sister and her mates are going into the alcohol store. And they're, they're actually still too young to buy alcohol as well because like we were like 13 and my sister's like 16 now. 
And my sister's like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, we're going to a party. We're like, can you get us some beers? And like, you know. And I was like, oh, okay, I suppose. And we gave them our money. And they got us um, some beers and these Pulse cans. Like Pulse had just came out. Pulse, yeah. Pulse? I remember Pulse. Pulse had just came out. And then um, I got some of those Pulse cans. And then, yeah, bro, got to the party. <laughs> I had um, two four packs, bro, but I gave a four pack away because four was all I needed. Hey, baby girl. Hello, can I have a kiss? <laughs> Hi. Yeah, because four pack was all I needed. And bro, it's like wasted as a eh? wasted as. Oh, the, the the main time, main party time. What were the tunes? What were the tunes the playing? Tunes, bro. I think it was like Acorn, if you want to go and take a ride with me, yeah. Do you remember oh, the Acorn, oh, the that, those bro. were my party an- party anthems. Like it was, T Pain was real big. I think T Pain had just came out, so it was all about like um, like I'm sprung and shit. Like stripper Akon was popping back then, oh, bro. Yeah, yeah. Akon, yeah. I think, was the Lonely. biggest back then. Yeah, those, all those that, days. bro, with the Akon and smack yeah. that oh, all yeah. on the floor, yeah. all that stuff, mm. bro. Bangers, bro. Amon, bro. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. you, you all those bangers. I want you back. Bro, 50, oh, oh. oh, oh. Chris oh. Brown had just come out. Oh yeah, run it. Yep. Let me see you can run, run it, run uh, it, baby. Yeah. Bro, so yeah, that bro, was, so was cool. popping back then. Yeah, yeah, music was, was popping back was then, good. bro. Fifty Cent good. had just come out as well, I think, bro. A couple of years later or something. Yeah, so shit was popping, bro. Music was popping back then. I think the music was just evolving, bro. Really, from the getting out of the punk stages. Mm. Yeah, because when I was about eight, it was all about punk, bro. Blink One Eighty Two. Yep. You know, oh, that small thing. It was all about that Lincoln Park, bro. Yep. And that then was, yeah, we were my, getting into that was the, my wave, bro. And then we were getting into the yeah, bro. The punk was dying. And yeah, yeah. And then the R and B was R&B coming R&B up. Dance. Slow jams was popping then. That's yeah. when the slow jams came out. Yeah. Twister, Mario, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Lovers and friends. Yeah, my, my days was cut my life into pieces. <laughs> this is my last resort. To the Jason. Those are my party <laughs> tunes. Vacation, you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bangers What were yours bangers. What are your memories bangers. From your parties Oh like KC and Jojo Ooh yeah. My um, whole life Has changed Backstreet um, yep. Backstreet boys No Blackstreet <laughs> <laughs> Blackstreet bro hey, like, yeah, Just yeah, old yeah. school eh? Like Yo, yo, no down. diggity Snoop Dogg yeah. Bang it up You do a good Snoop, Snoop Dogg eh Okay give us a Snoop Dogg What's that? Yeah, like your, your Snoop voice. Do your Snoop voice. Shit, nigga. <laughs> oh, damn. We getting down blazing this motherfucker. <laughs> That's so good. That's actually so good. That sounds so good. That's the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's cold. So good, bro. Bro, we yeah. should do it. We're going to do a podcast where you come on as Snoop, bro. And you just, you yeah, have, the whole to time you have to be Snoop the whole time. You have to be Snoop the whole the time. The whole time. The whole time, bro. The whole time. They'll be gangster ass. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They'll be mean Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'll be too Mac here. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, who do you reckon our first guest will be as well? Yeah. Well, kind of, kind of, or maybe, maybe people should in the comments should start putting in what yeah. things they want us. Because, yeah. like, have you seen like these other podcasts where they like do skits and all that sort of stuff as well? Like, does it necessarily need to be like always just like having a yarns, or can we do like you know, some yeah, green, yeah, green yeah. need stuff to do some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. otherwise, we'll get bored of just talking yeah, the whole time. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Hard, hard. Well, we just definitely need topics. Go off topics. Bro. Yeah, Funny topics and maybe little like. Yeah, skits or games or things. Yeah, yeah, yep. And then have the guests and stuff. Yeah, have the guests guest as well. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. baby girl. But, um, yeah, what's, what podcasts do you like? Um, I don't watch many podcasts. I yeah. do like the impulsive one, though. Yeah, yeah that's impulsive. awesome. Impulsive. Yep. I think that's just, but Evie, all he does is talk about shit. Yeah, I yeah. think it's because it's so entertaining yeah, what yeah, he yeah. talks about. That's why yeah. it's just so good. Yeah, whereas that's you guys are like good at doing skits and things, so it'd be good to like do some character yeah, stuff yeah, or some yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Would yeah, yeah, cool. hide out. Or just do do something. Yeah. Do something that you can go off like challenges or yeah, whatever, yeah, you yeah, know, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. stuff like that. Yep. Even, um, yeah, yeah, but I think the main thing is just uh, having the best shit of what to talk about, you know? Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, you could yarn for days, man. Yeah, and then yeah, fucking pop a pop a brew, pop a brew while yeah. we're yarning, and we will only go from there. Yeah, mate. We we'll only go from there, and yeah, we will have guests as well. Yeah, sounds good. Do shit with the guest. Mm. Hey, 
You know. Yeah, add a son you're on there and get JP to take a hit from him. Yep. Yeah. That'd be good. Would you uh, take a kick? Yeah. Would you take a kick or a, or a cut? Kick or a cut? Uppercut? Um we could do Probably like a, a we could do a bit, bro, like a Ooh, challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever yeah. loses that challenge um, gets fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, hard. Oh wow, walk the line, eh? Mm. Walk the line. Oh shit, yeah, maybe we should have a walk the line, bro, and we'll get like like a glove each, bro. Yeah. And whoever loses the challenge has to walk the line at the end of the potty. Yep. Hey, imagine that just getting dropped, eh? No. Oh. Make sure I'm not losing any challenges. <laughs> 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 Sweet. Oh. So you well, like on, the on that note, shall we? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Is that our end thing? Yeah. I love it. That's, That's the one we started right. off. Eh? Yep. <coughs> oh, thank you, ladies, yep. gentlemen. Thank you, homies, for watching. Yeah. The boys' first party. Yeah, we don't know what it's called yet. Still. Yeah, yeah. The boys. You'll know the, when you the see the boys? title. Yeah. Well, the, the, the boys. Well, they actually like what the P. No, nah, that's dumb. Eh? <laughs> wait, but they, 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 wait, right. but they know by now. Like by the time we put this up, but we have come up with a title. I, I don't know. Cause nah, let's make it. We'll put the title. Cause this is like the first party. No, why don't people put in the comments what they think the podcast should be called? And the yeah, one with the top. Yeah, co- put in the comments. The one what with you the think. top. Like it should. Yeah. Yeah, put in the comments what you think the podcast should be called. And, um, and the one with the most likes or something is the one that we call it or something. Yeah, yeah, Maybe. or we might have already come up with a name, yeah, but you yeah. just put in Who the comments knows? anyways, and no matter what, it's going to be Liddy. But this um, dumb song is just the one that came with the sample pack of all this stuff, because it's the first time we've used the it. gears. So I love it. It's, it's already known as the OG song. And then Fade Out. And it's already known as the OG song. I think you'd keep playing it till... No, it's, it uh, just did itself. I was oh. just pretending. Oh, I oh, did it fade out by itself. Yeah, fade oh, it. Wow. That was oh. it. So you've only had. got that long yeah, to yeah. end it. Yeah. Okay. We can hit that song again if you want. Dun, da, 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 da. Hey, thank you for <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in. This has been the uh, Jimmy Jackson podcast. Uh, I've been your host, Jermaine Leaf. We've got Jimmy Jackson. We've got JP. Ciao. Thanks, you guys, for joining us. Once again, we'll see you guys next time. The next one is going to be... It's going to be uh, interesting. Even better. Better. And better. Yeah, stay tuned for the next one. The first official Don't Know the Name Yet podcast. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, okay, just do a natural fade out. <laughs>